Welcome to CASA Nine Ball Open Championships of 2023. We are down to the top 64 players who will qualify for the top 32. I'm joined with Chung Ming Chang. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to yeah. Qatar. <laughs> and how are you feeling? I'm fine. <laughs> now, yesterday I saw you play. You played amazing yeah. on the TV table. And uh, you're up against Elvin Ocean, one of the greatest pool players in the world. Uh, I'm sorry. Well, thank you very <laughs> much. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. I'm oh, sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great honour to introduce to you Alvin Ocean, one of the greatest pool players on the planet. Alvin, how are you feeling? Very good. Looking forward. Do you feel that this is your title this year? Well, uh, I don't want to think that far. Playing Chang first round in the last 64 is quite a tough task, but um, I'll try my best. Feeling good, so uh, everything's possible and uh, just want to get through day one in the final stage and then day two and then looking forward to hopefully winning. Ladies and gentlemen, Owen Ocean. <laughs> All the best, Owen. Thank you.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Qatar Open Nine Ball Championships of 2023. I've had an amazing time with these players, and uh, I can honestly say, Chang Ling Chang has become a machine on this table. He only missed a couple balls yesterday on the TV table, and Albert Ocean, he has to play the greatest he's ever played to stop the machine. The brake system is incredible. I've spoken to the players. So we see the wing ball going in. It's just the one ball you've got to be careful of. Now, we have an epic day today. We have another match after this as well. So whoever wins this match will qualify for the top 32. And then it's an absolute amazing tournament. Ladies and gentlemen, it really is. I've spoken to the players and I'm very fortunate that uh, this braking system, you have to work out how to play the braking system. And why I say I'm unfortunate? Because the players are giving me an insight to it. And as you see, what a beautiful safety shot that is. Now, Zhang Ling Chan broke. Urban Ocean has two in a row. How does this system work and how does it benefit? In my opinion, what I've seen on the TV table and got information back from the players, if you're playing well, you're unstoppable. But you have to play perfect pull on this system of the break. Urban Ocean takes this on, swerving around. Now, he's got to be careful here because the rail skids. Yeah, that's why he's gone this way. He's going to go two rails around the, the back of the one ball. But Urban doesn't want to... I'm surprised he hasn't took the jump shot on. We saw one of the greatest jump shots yesterday, over four balls. Yeah, he's looking at the jump shot, I can assure you. He's going for the jump shot. Stay tuned. Chao Ling Chang is a machine. Stay tuned. I think he only missed on the TV table. Maybe, bear with me, two balls in his set. I spoke to Alex Pagalain this morning. He wants to be crowned the champion. John Mora. He wants to become the champion. Hope and Ocean is taking this jump shot on. This is pressure. Stay with us. Where's the one? But the one's been left in the open. Now, the nine's going to be stopping the path to where he wants to go. So let's see. Oh, this is a beautiful shot. Yeah, he's looked at it. He's taken the nine ball on into the corner left-hand pocket and hold for the two ball. Be careful, ladies and gentlemen. Don't blink, because that nine ball is a possible in the corner pocket. But he went into the nine. But where's the cue ball? Where it is? So, good fortune there. Goes to Chang. He is a lovely man. I've known him for about 13 years. And uh, the last time I did the commentary was at the World Nine Ball Championships for his game. And I'm going to tell you something. He's changed his game completely. He used to do something very special. He used to indicate where he wants the cue ball with his hands. He would use a hand positioning on the table. Now he points to where he wants to go. Completely different. So he's put his game into another level. This level I've seen for the first time is pointing where you want to go. Now. 
Is there a drop of ball? Yes, there's two ball. Is it missable? 100% missable. It's got to make this go in. And that's what I'm saying. One of the greatest pool players in the world has missed a formality two ball. And it's all down to pressure. Now, I've played on the TV table. I know what it's like. It's alive. Mysterious things happen as we watch now Alvin Ocean take the bank on or play safe. Ah, do you see what Elvin did there? He used his finger as the marker where he wants the cue ball. So he's going to leave it up the top of the table and put the two ball. But wait a minute. He's trying to leave the two ball in behind the cluster of the eight and the five. Why is he taking the cut on? No, it was too risky. But that is perfect. He's okay. And Alvin would be very happy with that, knowing that it's safe, but it's not potable. And thank you very much to all the fans around the world who's tuned in. But right now, Chang is under pressure. This one frame. Yes, it's early to predict who's going to win. But right now, we are witnessing the first frame is under pressure. It's a great start. In any sport, you want to start. Now, he's going to come off. Yeah, see where he's pointing? The finger? He's saying, that's where I want to come off. He's not potting it. It won't go in. He's hoping to hit it firm and leave the cue ball in behind the eight. This is the first time I've seen Zhang Ling Chang play safety. Look at the focus. He has to do that for two hours to win this match. Does it go past the eight? What a shot that is. But he's left it in the open. Wow, he's going to be disappointed with that. Alvin comes to the table. Knowing that three ball is in the middle after the two, the four is a formality, the five to give me, the six will take him to the eight, the nine is for one frame lead, one ball at a time. That's why he's hesitating, because he knows that this two ball has to go in and come back for the three. You can't force the ball. Oh, what a shot this is. He's going around three rails. Watch the cue ball. Oh, he's gone safe. Ladies and gentlemen, Alvin Ocean. What a shot that is. That is unbelievable. He played it in such a way. It was the double. And he's gone in behind the three knowing that that four is just waiting. Now, if we look at camera four, see the jaw of the pocket, how the rail sits in the pocket. Watch this, it's got to be perfect. It won't go in. And that's what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen. The easy ones are the hardest shots on the table. He would have potted that a million out of a million times. But on the TV table, in the moment he had to pot it, he missed it. Chow Ling goes to the table, knowing that this safety has to be glued behind a ball. He's looking to put it behind the four. he made it beautiful shot now the jump shots available coming off the back rail is, is a possibility but he has to avoid the eight what well, you got to understand because Alvin missed the free ball that is put Chang back in control of the game the brake system allows the ultimate winner of this match to win perfection. 
is the brake system. So as Alvin takes this off, he's going to come around the back of the five, hit the rail, and hope it goes safe. But he's got plans here. Is he looking to put the cue point behind the eight? Tough shot. Ladies and gentlemen, to all you fans around the world, we are witnessing two of the greatest pool players in the world play right now. They are trying to survive in the top 32. We're going to be here for at least two hours. Grab a cup of coffee, grab a cup of tea, because we are in for a treat. But wait a minute. Will he take the double? Can he see it? Or will he hide the cue ball in for the eye the eight? They're all going to catch me out because I don't know sometimes what they're going to play. I can understand their feelings, but the reality is they're representing their countries and all their families are watching. See how he's pointing. When I did the commentary in the semi-finals, at the World Nine Ball Championships in Qatar. He used to put his hand on the table where he is. Once the cue ball. Now he's using his finger. He's took this game to another level. What a shot. Ladies and gentlemen, all of us are going to witness some incredible safety play. Do I like the safety play? Absolutely. My favourite is the emotional side. So already Albin knows that he's got to get this safe. That is such a beautiful shot. And the feelings they're playing, trying to survive on this free ball. The tactical battle, ladies and gentlemen, as Alpin's looking over the shoulder of Chang, he knows that he might have just left an edge. And if so, he can run that cue ball behind the five and the four. Stay tuned. This frame is incredible safety play. I don't think he can get through it. Let's have a look at camera four. He can't get it. He cannot get it. Now the reason why he's going to... Or can he? Can he see the angle? Can he just see a little bit? Ladies and gentlemen, we are witnessing the greatest safety battle on the world stage at the Qatar Open Nine Ball Championships of 2023 on the TV table. This game was finished ages ago and already we're into a staggering 20 minutes of play. Just on one game. Alvin's going for the jump. He has to jump it. Will he take a risk and go behind the three? Or will he take it off? Yeah, he's, he's looking at it. This is very important, ladies and gentlemen. This match. Whoever wins will qualify for the top 32. I met John Moore this morning. He is the eye of the tiger. Tostin Homan versus Joshua Filler. I guess Pagalion. 
is plain as well. So he has to pop this to stay at the table. But where's the white? Abwin will be disappointed. He wanted to try to pot it, I can assure you. Or we'll get a better safety. But right now, this free ball. Alwyn is such an amazing character. A true professional of the game. Amazing person. Yeah, this is a very important shot. He's going to come around the nine. Oh, he can come up through the nine. So he should be okay. But the table might pick up speed. We'll soon find out. I can tell you exactly if the table's dried out or moistured because of the AC. And that's what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. The easy ones are the hardest shots to pop. If we look at camera four, look at that. It's in the jaws of the pocket, just waiting for Alba to take the cue ball to the top of the table for the four. Young Ling Chang cannot believe he's missed that ball. He knows that this should have been the end of the frame. Yesterday, he only missed two balls. Today, he's missed one already. Formality three to the four. But no one. Wow, what a shot this is. He's going to come close to the six ball. He might use the six as a marker. Let's see what happens. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the best drawback I have seen on the TV table. Unbelievable. Forward to the corner. But Alvin has to be careful with the five because he's missed already. Alvin's missed an easier one than this, ladies and gentlemen. But he's focused. Six to the corner. Hold for the eight. Freeze for the nine. We'll give him the first frame. Nicely done. Very smooth. Um, the way he plays. Determination as well. Wow, what a shot that was. I've seen them miss yesterday. Nine to the corner for a one leap frame lead. Very nicely done. Now, Alban will have two run out, uh, sorry, two breaks here and a possible two run outs. We have to wait and see, see what happens. We're going to be here for about two hours. I hope you stay with us and enjoying the show. Now the two ball can be replaced anywhere in random. So the referee looks like he's going to put it on the back. So the wing ball is gone. Everybody's part in the wing ball. The wing ball is the seven ball. But it's the one ball is the key at this level. Alvin is trying to put the one ball at the top of the table and leave the cue ball in the open. Let's see what happens with Alvin's break. Perfect. But where's the white? Where's the white? Wow, I can tell you straight away, ladies and gentlemen, the table's gone slow. The moisture on the cloth, and later on in the day, that would have gone in, because it's very quick. So Alvin's troubled ball.
is the five. Let's see how he gets there. And the safety battle is back. Now that's a beautiful shot here, ladies and gentlemen. Slice the one along the rail. Because the two is over the pocket, so you're going to get on it. But that's high risk. But where do you find the safety? Do you put it in behind the five? Bring the cue ball down the table? He's looking at it. Watch the finger point. He's looking at it. You indicate where he's going to go. So calm and collective, this young man. From when I saw him last and did the World Nine Ball Championships commentary on the semi finals in Qatar, his game has been strengthened all those years ago. But right now, this safety is so important. And I'm afraid it hasn't reached there. You'd be disappointed knowing that the table has been slowed down. So, has the AC gone on and made a major impact to the table? It's hot out there, to be fair. One to the corner, hoped for the three. Look how smooth Urban's cue action is. Beautiful. But this is the tricky shot. See, Urban's pointing to where he wants to be. But he has to be careful. Because that middle pocket has to be 100% perfect. So he's going to draw back the cue ball. But this is so difficult. Oh, he didn't. He's gone in for the middle. I'm surprised there. Because if when we look at camera four, the jaws of the pocket are with the cushions in it. Look at that tightness of that pocket. He's got the cue that's perfect won't go in. Beautiful angle. He's got the angle to come back for the five, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. That five ball is not a problem anymore. He come off two rails or reverse side and come across nicely for the five. But he's playing with confidence and determination to represent his country and all the fans around the world. That's what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. The easy ones are impossible to pot. With a miscue... And to be fair, ladies and gentlemen, that's the only miscue on the TV table I have witnessed. Alvin Ocean will be devastated knowing that was two frames. He's won with the break. As we watch now the cue ball being cleaned. Does he take the nine ball combination on? Too risky. Does he take and find out? Yeah, he's chalking his cue, put plenty of chalk on it. Not too sure what Chung Ling. Oh, he's taking the nine on. He's taking the nine on. And that's what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen. The easy ones 
Well, the hardy shots to pop. It went through the nine, and he will be devastated, knowing that that two, uh, that four ball, was to give me. But look where the cue ball is. All of a sudden, it's picking up speed. Uh, Win knows that he's got to come around. And he has been gifted this frame. Is he going up and down? That one's going up and down. This is risky. And Chang, Zhang Chang, uh, Zhang Ling Chang was not on the five ball. So the speed caught him out. The four ball. Has he missed it? Has he missed it? Has he missed it? He's got it. Alwyn oh, knows he shouldn't be there. So the moisture of the table was playing a major part on both of these play players. And the secret of that is to adapt very quickly. Because you could be trailing. And already we're on the second frame. And it's been a staggering half an hour. The ability to maintain the focus is incredible. There's a possible two hour match here, ladies and gentlemen. I believe I did a three hour match yesterday. I think it was in stage one, I did three hours. Race to seven. As we watch now, Helping Ocean, he won't take this on. Or will he? Yeah. The problem is, you've got to ask yourself a question. If I take this on, it's a frame winner. If I miss, oh, oh thank you, Elwin. Now, what Elwin's just shown us, he wants to come around the black. Oh, sorry, the eight ball. Let's see what he does. Stay with us. Ladies and gentlemen, he will be so disappointed knowing that he's had this frame. Just see what happens. Did he hit a, hit a divot in the in the table? And the divots are caused by jumping the cue ball onto the slate. And did that react to the cue ball? Yes, it did. Now the cue ball is going behind the nine. Wow, I've just seen another shot. He's looking at it. Let's see what happens. Yeah, he's looking at leaving the cue ball behind the eight. For me, too risky. Let's see what he does. Where's the white? Where's the white? Perfect. Our uh, notion goes to the table, knowing that this jump shot to save the frame. He has to pot it. He cannot leave it in the open. What a beautiful jump shot we're going to witness, ladies and gentlemen. He's taken the five to the bottom corner, right next to the eight ball. And both of these players are under tremendous pressure, representing their country. All their family and friends are watching. Stay tuned. Zhang Ling Chan has gone into a phase. He's gone into a zone. He's trying to find the form he had on the TV table before. But I'm afraid fans and family friends, he, he is trying his best. But he's not there just yet. He's missed easy shots. And he doesn't miss. But because he's both playing great players. Pressure happens. Alwyn's pointing to where he wants to go. But he's got to be careful. Because the rail skids the cue ball. We've seen it time and time again. He's got to hit this perfect. And he's hesitating because he knows that this is a tough shot.
Where's the five? Where's the five? Chang comes to the table, gifted the five to the middle. Hoed for the six, freeze for the nine, and the nine ball will take him to one apiece. But don't forget, Alwyn breaks again, so Alwyn still can get in front. Then all of a sudden, I've seen something, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time in this match, the machine is turned on to win this match. He's had a malfunction earlier on in the game, but all of a sudden, he's back to his best. He'll take the nine in the same pocket. Eight to the corner, come around for the nine. Look at the focus, look at the determination as we watch one apiece very shortly. Well done. 35 minutes, two frames of pool. Incredible standard. Mistakes were made. Human errors and the ultimate shot on the TV table. The miscue. So Irwin Ocean in a tactical safety battle. Now, do you see how he's, the referee's done a fantastic job? He's put the two balls to the left. I can tell you exactly what ball's going into the pocket. Don't worry about that. It's the six into the right corner, but it's the one ball. Oh, sorry. It's the eight. Is that the eight or the six? Yeah, it's the eight. There it is. He wants the one to stop. He's done it. And that is the first. Well, it's not a silver break because the two ball is too close for the nine. If it was up a couple more inches, it was a silver break because everything is potable in the open. So if you ever practice at this level, this is what I do in my training. I put all the balls in a silver break position and keep running out. But this one ball to the corner, stretching over the two, it's pressure. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Alvin is disappointed knowing that he didn't come across, he's come across too far. Because if we look at, wow. If we look at camera four, it doesn't go to the corner. It doesn't go there. So now this two ball to the left corner is so difficult. He's missed it. He's missed it. Ladies and gentlemen, the easiest ones are the hardest shot, but they're impossible to pot. Incredible scenes. <laughs> Alban Ocean would have potted that a million times. And he can't, but he's going through the pain barrier. Ladies and gentlemen, to this match is all about the roller coaster, and we're all together. What a beautiful shot that is. Now, you need to be aware. If Chang wins this frame, he gets two breaks in a row. And all of a sudden, the scoreboard will change. Because the machine is back. I saw him play yesterday. He did a staggering seven runouts. But for some unknown reason, 
when he's too far ahead, he misses. He puts pressure on himself. We all do it, ladies and gentlemen. You think you won the match, but this nine ball game is so emotional. Anything can happen. We're not at the stage of the formality shots just yet. We've seen the easy ones missed as we watch the four to the corner. Hold for the five, but where's the white? It's picking up speed. He's played that perfect. So he's looking at taking the six into the middle, but it's too risky. Because he needs a perfect line to go in. Alvin can't look. Because he knows that that two ball he missed could cost him this game. And Chang Ling Chang will have two breaks. Stay tuned as we watch the six go to the corner. Hold for the seven. Freeze for the nine. For two, one lead. I saw the world's number one player miss this shot yesterday. He's got it. Now, this nine ball. Look at the presentation. Look at the focus. He is determined to take this lead. He's done it. 2-1. Stay tuned. John Lin Cheng will take a two-break lead in respect to breaking. And then the other two breaks will go to Elmon. So, 2-1 could be a possible 4-1. Because he had seven runouts yesterday. Stay tuned. And I'm thoroughly enjoying this match. I hope you guys are. It's a bit of emotion already. We've already been staggering. Coming up to 45 minutes for four games. Well, we're on the fourth game. Three games to pull. So this will take toll on the players. They both know they have to win. Oh, that's nice. The four ball's gone. Let's look into the right corner. Oh, hang on. He's breaking on the other side. So it's this, the free ball. It's gone. Don't worry about that. Where's the one? Where's the one? Where's the one going? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. And I think it could be called... Oh, it's not a silver break. Dear of him, you wanted that silver break to happen. And the reason why a silver break would happen if it was in the open and everything look at it it's all a formality do you take the double on or do you go in behind the seven wow ladies and gentlemen see what he's doing stay tuned the double he will run the table if he gets this two boy I apologise if I'm whispering because I don't want the players to hear me. Ladies and gentlemen, the double is missed as we watch Helburn come to the table, knowing that this is an opportunity to come back in this match. Does he take this double on? Too risky. Does he go safe behind the seven? Too risky. So let's see what he does. He's going in behind the seven. It's perfect. But the airborne shot is ready. As we watch the Kubel fly over the seven. To take the one to the corner. The two is in the open. And he's one of the greatest jump players on the TV table. He did two in a row yesterday. He will not be afraid to take this on to the corner. He knows that this is a frame-winning opportunity. Stand by as we watch the jump shot master in action. That's why he's a master. Has it come far enough? 
we don't know. Quickly go to camera four, because the fans around the world want to know. Yes, he can. I think he can just catch that two ball in the corner. Stay with us. What a fantastic jump shot from the TV jump master. He's missed it. But where's the two? Where's the two? Oh, it's knocked on the door. But the door is closed, I'm afraid. As he goes to the table. How the notion knows that that two ball would have dropped. He would have been training three frames to one. How the knows he's got to get this perfect. Look at this cut on the middle pocket. This will be a very, very difficult shot. We've already seen the top players in the world miss this pocket. Alvin has to focus beyond focus to pot this. And that's why he went for the double. Because he knew that that free ball and the emotions he's feeling right now. Wow, I got that double. Now I'm going to take this out and it's going to be two apiece. That's how he's feeling as we watch the four. Formality four, but we've seen the mist. Well done, Elvin. I do stay biased in the commentary booth. Always have done. But wouldn't it be a great match to see both of these players doing their best with what they have? It doesn't matter what they've won. It's what they bring to the table. And always remember, you're in the moment, not the past. Now, serve into the corner, come down for the eight. Let's see how Alvin takes this. He is in a zone, knowing that this frame will bring him back to level. Nicely done. He only has to run up the table. And this nine ball, ladies and gentlemen, beyond a hundred percent focus. This is missable. Stay tuned. Well done. Elbow Ocean brings it back to level. Zhang Ling Chang to break. Welcome ladies and gentlemen for the Qatar Open Nine Ball Championships of 2023. We welcome all the fans around the world. 
been an emotional game. If you just joined us, I'll give you a quick emotional day up. We are looking at misses, unbelievable misses, unbelievable jumps. Incredible. Miss Q, the first one on the TV table. And right now, it's not a silver break because the one is not really in the open. But he's got a beautiful opportunity here to hold on to the nine ball. Now, what a lot of these players do is point to where they want to be with the cue ball. So he's telling us where he wants to be. So he's only holding the cue ball here. He'll go into the nine. Or would he come back? No, that's the right shot. The machine, ladies and gentlemen, is turned on to become a top 32 player. He's in tremendous form, but he has missed today. But right now, this two ball to the corner. Yeah, he's hesitating. He's going to make sure his presentation is perfect. Because it's too easy. And the easy ones are the hardest ones to pop. Will he take it on? And pop this two ball. And there you go. It's in the heart of the pocket. As we watch one of the greatest players in the world. Take the three to the corner. Hold for the five. Freeze for the six. The seven's a formality. It's just waiting to take him to the eight. And the nine is just a free to loot. And now Will Ocean is in the zone, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. Both players are doing their best for their country. And I'm thoroughly enjoying how these players are coping with the conditions. Alvin knows that he can't afford to miss. So all of us are treated to the best of what they can do in this match, on this day, to survive in the tournament. Now, this is a tricky shot. Yes, it looks easy, but the table is alive. It slows down, it speeds up. Has caught the players out. Perfect. See the options he had. Eight to the corner. Nine in the same corner. That's just a formality. But it's potting them. And I've seen nine balls missed like this already on the TV table, but he's got it. Now, Alvin goes to the table. He's got two breaks in a row. Can he take the lead? The break system, I'm not too sure how it favours the players, but in my opinion, if you're in front, it favours you. And that's when you get the hill hill. Eight apiece, you have to win by two. And when it gets to ten apiece, your choice of the roll-up to put your opponent in to break or you to break. Will we see for the first time, well the second time because we did get the hill hill at eight apiece. Will this be the second hill hill TV game of the tournament? Stay tuned. Six to the corner. Hold for the one ball. Where's the one? Where's the one? Where's the nine? It's traveling. Now we are in for a treat, ladies and gentlemen. Watch the one go to the left corner. Swing the cue ball around for the two. And everything is in the open.
There's a possibility, ladies and gentlemen, leaving the cue ball him behind the two ball. But I'm sure Alvin will take this on, knowing that this is a frame winner. But the cue ball is travelling. Let's see what he does. Where's the cue ball? Where's the cue ball? He's okay. Now I saw Elwin practice the shot just now and he potted it in like it was over the pocket. But in the match, things change. He's such a lovely person. Both of them are. Last time I met Elwin Ocean, he represented the trophy of the World Nine Ball Championships. And I was there with him, so I know what he's capable of doing. Can he find that magic again? Both players want that title. And remember, just for a four days work, 50,000 US dollars for the winner. Yeah, Alvin is looking at this tuple. He knows it's difficult. Yeah, now. Is he going to leave the cue ball in behind the three? We're just going to have to wait and see. Or will he take it on? Wow. Alvin will be disappointed. Because he didn't come across enough, but it's okay. He's still at the table. Always remember, in nine ball, it's best to still be out there. So the cue ball is going to hide. Which way is he going to go? In behind the eight? Yeah, yeah, thank you, Alban. So he's showing me where he's going to go with the cue ball. He wants to leave it where he's pointing. So he's going to leave the free ball down on the bottom of the rail. I've seen something, ladies and gentlemen. John Ling Chan is focused. Look at that. He is in the zone. Where's the white? Where's the white? Where's the white? I think Chang can hit this free ball. But where does he put it? He's looking at this. We are witnessing, ladies and gentlemen, all of us, who's tuned in to one of the greatest matches of tactical battle I have seen on the TV table. Look at the determination. Oh, I've seen what he's going to try to do. Right, he hasn't pointed to where he wants me to go with the commentary, but he wants to somehow leave the cue ball safe by running around and leaving it back up there. That's what I would have played. I would have thought that would be the right shot. But under these conditions of a mysterious nap where it speeds up and slows down, and you've got to adjust to the conditions. Stay tuned. That's why he's hesitated. I don't... Can he hit it? Let's quickly look at overhead camera. Yes, it does. He can hit it. But where is the cue ball going to travel? It's too risky for the jump shot. Wow. Wow. Oh, this is a beautiful shot. Watch the cue ball stop. Oh, he's going, he's got plenty of room. Where's the free ball? Where's the cue ball? Where's the cue ball? Where's the cue ball? Unbelievable. Ladies and gentlemen, to the fans around the world, we've just witnessed a good piece of fortune. And Alvin is asking himself, I will get my luck. 
and I will get my good fortune soon. But this frame is under pressure. A 4-2 lead. Or a level frame. So we witness now this free ball has got to go in. Because he can't afford to leave it in the open. Can he can he come through? Is he looking at the safety? He's done it. Oh, he almost did it. He did play the pot. I can assure you, 100%, he went for the pot. And that's what you got to do when you're one of the greatest pool players in the world. You know you got to pot them. And the emotional ride. We're all together on the roller coaster game. We're going to go up and we're going to go down. Stay tuned as we watch the free go to the corner. Well, for me, the machine has to pot this forward to the corner and be perfect. He's already missed one of these already in the earlier part. See where's thank you, Chang, just show me where he's going to put the cue ball. He's going to put the cue ball for the five in the middle. And he shows all of us. Just not me. Comes in handy though. Because these great players are taking all of us to another level. That's why they're the greatest players in the world. Has he got it? Beautiful. Now, this is pressure. Look at the camera angle of the middle pocket. The rails are sitting in that pocket. This is got to be perfect. But where's the cue ball? Where's the cue ball? And all of a sudden the table has speeded up. It's starting to dry out. Who will the table suit? This seven. To the eight. Reverse side. Hold for the eight. Watch this for a beautiful shot. There it goes. Watch the spin. Watch the spin. Wow. Beautiful. As we watch now the eight slipping away. The nine for a 4-2 lead. As Alban Ocean has to dig deep down. Knowing that safety shot. Cost him the frame. Stay tuned. John Ling Chung is taking the lead of 4 2. Who breaks? Bear with me. Who's going to grab their break cue? Because I'm a bit emotional, ladies and gentlemen. I've lost the. Is it Alban? He's moving for the break cue. Has he got the cue? He's got the break cue. Now, Alban comes to the table, knowing that he's got to run the table two times to level this match can he do it stay tuned we know the wing ball's gone in it's very rare it doesn't go in but the key ball is the one ball three's gone don't worry about the three the one ball is the key he wants the one ball at the top of the table Where's the one? Where's the nine? It was traveling, but where's the one? Right. 
keyboard, ladies and gentlemen. You might hear this in the commentary booth. You might hear me say a keyboard, and the keyboard is number two. So, take the one on, leave the keyboard in behind the five. Alvin is under tremendous pressure, I can assure you. He knows that this one ball has got to go in to create the angle for the safety. This is pressure. That's why he's hesitating. Stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. He, that's the right thing to do, is come back and regroup. This one ball. Look at the focus. But he's played a beautiful shot. It was too risky to take the one down to the corner. Now, that there is too too hard to jump. I can't see the jump shot, but I do see a shot, and it is a jump shot. I've done this before, off the rail. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we could be witnessing the first mass ain't shot on the TV table. Jump over the four ball, past the five, and come behind the. F He's doing it, ladies and gentlemen. Stay tuned for the master of the jump shots. Oh, he's going to go over the seven. We are all witnessing the master jumper on the TV table. Watch this. He's climbing on the table. But he's got to have one leg on the floor. Stay tuned. He's potted it. It's knocked on the door. Unbelievable scenes. We have just witnessed one of another great shots from the jump master here on the TV table. That's the best one I've seen, even though it didn't go in. But what an amazing jump shot that is. But imagine if it did go in. That I've seen some already. Joshua Feller jumped four balls. Mohammed played an amazing jump shot. But for me, John Ling Chan is unbelievable. As they avoid the in off. Where's the always played it? Short, the tables come back to haunt him. It's slowed down. He wanted to be a bit further than that. So the safety shot battle is on. Do you come back around the seven and the six? A bit risky. Alvin's showing us he is. Well, thank you, Alvin. Played a great shot here if he can get this right. The heat outside of the arena. I feel that the AC has been turned down and it's affecting because the players want to be war back there and it is affecting the table because. It speeds up and slows down on the cloth, but this shot, ladies and gentlemen, the two ball has to be hidden somewhere with the cue ball. Oh, this is a nice shot. Watch how he does it. It's coming in behind the eight. Oh, what a shot. Well done, Alban. But has he left it? And they're all because 
the table is starting to slow down. I know the players, you've got to adapt, not a problem. But the two ball is past the five with the cue. Now. I'm not too sure if he's going to pot this. Let's have a look at the angle. Uh, yes. He's looking at coming off the edge there. See where the two tip is. He's going to go for the pot. This will be an incredible shot. Look at that. Stay with us, ladies and gentlemen. This frame for 5-2, because they're all in the open. Stay tuned. Ladies and gentlemen, to the fans in attendance, and to the fans around the world, amazing. Because Albert Ocean, dear of him, he knows that safety shot could cost him that frame with a 5-2 deficit of three frames. It's going to put him under tremendous pressure. And that's what the, the machine can do. An amazing player. And he's turned on to win this match. The four ball is missable. He's got it. Now he didn't run fast enough because the table's automatically slowed down. Now, six in the middle, hold for the seven. The eight's a formality, you can take the eight anywhere. But it's the nine. The nine ball is the most powerful ball in the world of nine ball. So the fives and miss, uh, wow, he's overstretching, but he's got it. Now the six to all Chang's fans and family around the world. Your young man is four balls away from getting the impossible start against one of the greatest players in the world. It's a dream come true. Will he get it? Alvin's been playing amazing in this tournament. But right now, this six ball to go forward. Where's the cue ball? See how it's speeded up? Now that's helped him as we watch the seven go in. Now he's going to take the nine for the corner, but that is a formality because he's got a nice position. He just screwed back, but he's gone forward and now he's not taking any chances. He wants the cue ball identical where it is to take a staggering five frames to two lead. Oh, now there's nine ball. I've seen them missed. I've missed one. But right now, this is pressure. Will he get it? Yes, he does. As we watch now, the lead slipping away from Urban Ocean. The top 32 position is there for him. But there's so much to do. There's such a long way to go. Grab a cup of tea. Grab a cup of coffee. And for me, I'm on the popcorn. Because I believe in a comeback. These players have been playing for one hour and 15 minutes. The emotional side of this game is incredible. They don't show it, but they are on that roller coaster. They know 
that if they win this match, their winner will advance to the top 32 in the tournament. The loser will be flying home. But right now, the wing ball, I think it's, I seem to tell you it's the eight, I think it is. Yeah. The yeah, eight's gone. Where's the one? Where's the one? He's okay. Ladies and gentlemen, well, it's not a silver break, I'm afraid, because he has to try and control the, the one ball. The silver break is when everything's in the open and you can not miss. But I saw it yesterday, a silver break missed. This one ball cannot dig in the cue ball. He will miss it. He's potting this one in a 4.2 pocket. If you start digging down into that cue ball and you're not 100% perfect, it doesn't go in. It only knocks on that door. And Lady Luck will open the door or close the door. Stay tuned. He's willing the cue ball to slow down. What a beautiful shot that is. He cued it perfect. Now. Thank you. Chang, he's just showing me where he wants the cue ball. He's playing the four ball into the right middle. He's showing us all. It's just not me. But this four ball. It will be the key. Don't worry about the three, that's gone. This four ball. Will it be the key for this game? There it is. Perfect. Now, if we show you camera four, look at those rails. I've seen the top players in the world miss this shot. You have to focus beyond focus. Stay tuned as we watch now. Chang taking on the four for the middle. Hold for the five, freeze for the six. And the seven will take him to the nine. Stay tuned. To be fair, the table is helping Chang out here because it's just speeded up enough. The temperature on the table is warm out there. Everybody's warm. Yesterday we saw Joshua Feller play with a jacket on because it was cold. And Ralph Suke made it clear that it was cold out there. And we turned the AC off and or down, should we say, and it's affected the table. Beautiful. That shot was so beautiful. He just rode it in, knowing that this is for 6 2 lead. Erwin can only look on and hope for a malfunction in the machine. But right now, this young man is two balls away from a dream start against one of the greatest pool players in the world. Seven to the corner. Hold for the nine. But where's the cue ball? It's slowed down, but he's okay. Perfect. Well, if you've just joined us, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Casa Nine Ball. And um, what a beautiful camera shot. Let's, where's John Moore? Where's John Moore? Can I see John Moore? Let's have a look. There's Alex Packer Lion. There's Alex. Let's have a look. Tyler against Alexander. What beautiful, fantastic 
Well done, guys. That's the first time we've seen a beautiful camera angle there. But where is John Mora? Wait a minute. I've seen something. Joshua Feller and Austin Holman have finished their match. I don't know the results. But I know one thing. Alex Pagger lying. To the right of us. Well, we're back with Alban Ocean. What a beautiful camera angle that was. Well done, team. And well done to the head of the media team, Abdullah. Well done, guys. There's only one more match, I believe, after this. So uh, it's the afternoon session, and then the players will have a day off. Don't worry about the... F oh, he's missed the wing ball. That's the first one I've... S oh, he went to the left, sorry. It's that... No, it's not the silver break. Because the six, I think, we have to be careful with the colours because it catches me out. Six and seven are tied. So that's the key ball. He's looking at this to see if the six does pass the seven. But right now, Chang has got the dream start. Albon Ocean is an amazing, amazing world-class player. I do feel that there is a comeback. I really, really do. You have to stay with us because it's going to be an emotional time. As we watch the one disappear. The two to the four. Ladies and gentlemen, I've just seen something. Oh, he's looked at it. It's the nine ball. The nine ball. Yes, this is it. The seven two lead. Oh, he's got, yeah, he's looking at it. The nine ball to the left corner. He's looking at it. Has he got it? He has. It's there. Nine ball. And this will be so emotional. Oh, he's looking at it. Stay tuned. Nine ball. Corner pocket, left hand side. He's leaving the angle. He wants to come down. We'll soon find out if he's going to take this on. He's done it. Ladies and gentlemen, to all the fans in the tenants and to all the fans around the world, this nine ball for 7 2 for Chang. But he's missed it. This is the comeback trail Alban Ocean is waiting for. Alban Ocean cannot afford to miss. He has to win this frame for the comeback trail. I feel Chang hit it a little bit too firm. He was trying to go in a little bit firm with the, with the combination onto the nine. It didn't happen. But where? That nine ball and the cue ball has landed will help Alvin out for a run out. Yes, the six and the seven is tied. It's not a problem. That's why Chang took the nine on, knowing that will be a saver game. Always remember, take it on if there's a saver ball. But wait a minute. Has Alvin got the... I don't think Alvin's got the angle. Chang is so cool, ladies and gentlemen. I can't, I can only sometimes read into his emotions, sometimes, not all the time, because he is a machine, and it's so difficult to understand machine players. Even I can't do it. And I'm an emotional person. 
as we watch now the five to the corner. Ho to the six. Freeze for the snooker, I feel. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the best shot so far in the match for pressure. Oh, but then, as you can see, the machine is breathing heavily now, knowing that this comeback is available. But Alban has to pot this six. There's no ifs, there's no buts. Live in the moment. Six ball, corner pocket, under pressure. Perfect. Now, do you take the eight to the top corner? He's looking at it. Oh, now they've turned the AC back on, ladies and gentlemen. And the reason why? Because we're freezing in the commentary booth. And it's affecting the table. Very nicely done. But this is missable. He's got it. Has he come far enough for the nine? Ladies and gentlemen, to all the Alban Ocean fans around the world, all the family members, your young man is back in the game. Beautiful shot. And the relief on that shot will be incredible. I think, I'm not too sure, it is... A commercial break. Come back and join us for more action on one of the greatest games so far on the roller coaster ride.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to an incredible match. And if you've just joined us, I can give you a quick summary. The emotional game has been incredible. Both players are coming up to a staggering one hour and 35 minutes at this stage of an emotional ride for both of them. They've missed unbelievable shots. They would never miss a million times out of a million times they would have put it. But on the TV table, in the moment, they missed it. The impossible shot to miss was the miscue. But right now, I said in the beginning, we are all joined together on our roller coaster for these players. The roller coaster happens when you want your player to win. All the family members, all the fans for their players are watching, I can assure you that. So they will experience the game in itself. And Alban takes this one on. Not a silver break, I'm afraid, because the free ball to the left will be a key ball. It's got to go through the traffic to get there, but stay with us. And that's the traffic, ladies and gentlemen. Now, Alvin was potting this in practice and he's potted it one time and he's got it perfect. So let's see what happens. He has to somehow regroup and come back. Chang can only look on, knowing that his opponent can run the table. He stays calm and relaxed, knowing that he will be have an opportunity to get to the hill. And that's what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I'm saying. The easy ones are the most hardest shots on the table. Chang comes to the table, knowing that he's got the opportunity. Yes, the roller coaster, dear FMO, oh, one ocean. He can't understand how he moved it. He can't believe how he's missed that, ladies and gentlemen. I feel very sad for him, but this is nine ball at the highest level the emotional level we will get to is going to be built up and I can assure you Elvin has not played anywhere close to his best Chang for the five to the four uh, for the you have to bear with me because of the colour I think that's the four not 100% Four to the five, yeah. Bear with me. I wish that they did the balls another colour, but it's okay. It has caught me out a few times when you look overhead shots. But it's okay, this is what it's all about. You're learning all the time in commentary. It's one of the hardest jobs in the world. It's not a job for me. I am a volunteer. I don't do this professionally. I just love giving you guys the inside of the nightmare nine ball game. As we watch now, the five to the corner, hold for the six, around for the seven. Alwyn has put in an incredible performance against the machine. He hasn't performed his best, the machine, Chang. He has missed balls. But yesterday, on the TV table, I think he only missed one ball. The AC has been turned on. I can confirm to you, the table will be affected. Now, this eight ball to get closer to the finishing line. Now, watch how Chang plays this. See the presentation? There you go. 
It's the focus as we watch this eight to the corner. He's done it. Now, this nine ball will take him to a seven three lead. I still believe in a comeback, I really do. Because when you're one of the greatest pool players in the world, you have the ability of coming back. All the hundreds of hours over the years of practice, the motivation and the dedication brings you back to comebacks. However, oh, let's have a look. There's Alex Pagaline, he's potted the dime to the right. Let's see. I'm not too sure if John Moore has won. Let's have a look. I know. Oh, there he is. Ladies and gentlemen, two tables up on the left. There he is, John Moore. I have to stay biased. Mick Eminent is on the table next to him. Ty is over there as well. A diff. But right now, Alban Ocean has got the wing ball. Don't worry about the wing ball. It's the five in the corner. Where is the one ball? Watch the one. Watch the one. Where's the one? Perfect. We're not at a silver break because this, the six had to come somewhere more easier to pop. I still believe, I really do, of a comeback for Alvin Ocean. We have to. I know I've got to stay biased, but for all the family and for all the fans around the world, your young man will not give in. Beautiful. You're seven free down, knowing if you lose this frame, your opponent is on the hill. As we watch now, the two. Yes, it is a formality, but everything has been missing. There you go. That's what I'm saying to you, ladies and gentlemen, to the fans in attendance, and to fans around the world. We are on a roller coaster. How did he miss that? And there is an answer. The easy ones are the hardest shots to pop. And Alwyn's looking at his tip. Is there a problem with the tip? We don't know. But right now, Chang goes to the table, knowing he come around the back of the six and the nine to hold the nine to the middle. Freeze for the seven, hold for the eight. So he's all there, just seconds away to taking the hill frame. Stay with us. He's in all of the top players I've seen, all of them, on the TV table. Chang moved on his cue action. The machine is starting to feel the pressure. He did this yesterday. He was 7-1 up. The machine had a malfunction. He couldn't get back to the table and win a frame. It was only the destiny of Lady Luck allowing him to get back at the table. Stay tuned. The comeback is still there for Alvin. But Chang has to get this perfect and Alban is on that roller coaster. Dear of him. Dear of him, he's trying to blank it out. This is what Nine Ball does to you. It gives you success and takes it away. Knowing that you haven't performed your best today. Alwyn will look back at this match and know that the easy ones were the hardest shots to pop on the TV table. But in the meantime, Chang comes to the table. Wow. Where's he going with the cue ball? Is he coming around? 
Yes, he is. Did you see how hard he hit that now? For all the Albert Ocean fans around the world, this shot of the sixth ball is crucial. Does he get position for the seven? Can he get that hill frame? Can't. Ladies and gentlemen, the easy ones are the hardest shots to pot. Unbelievable miss. We have witnessed one of the greatest pool players in the world. He did this yesterday, and I explained already. When the machine is in front, for some unknown reason, he turns himself off, knowing that that six ball was the hill frame to the fans of Alvin Ocean and to all the family members. Your young man is putting in a performance of his life to stay in this tournament. He has to play perfect. But the break system will help Chang because I've learned, and I hope you guys have learned as well, it's in the advantage of the player in front. Not all the time, but I know one thing. The cue ball. Wow. This is missable. Oh, Open Ocean stayed on his cue action, ladies and gentlemen, because he thought he missed it. He had to stay perfect. As the lead is slipping away, he is three frames behind. I soon tell you who's going to be breaking because I I've got so emotional. I'm not too sure which play. And there's Open Ocean. He is trying to come back. There is some of the nicest people I've met from the Middle East. Incredible. Ladies and gentlemen. Tung Ling Chan to break for the hill. Yes, he knows that this break system will help him. He requires two runouts. Will he become a machine to do it? Okay, two's gone. Don't worry about the two. Where's the one? The one is traveling. The cubos. Where's the one? Where is the one? Trapped behind. Look at that. In front of this one is the two. So, the pressure on this frame in the whole match is on this shot because if he loses this he break again that's not a problem then Alban will get two breaks after this next break and that is a golden opportunity to take the lead always remember in nine ball it's not over until that nine ball drops and Alban Ocean knows that he needs to get back to the table He's under tremendous pressure. He will look back at this match knowing that the balls he's missed has cost him frame after frame. Now, Chang is looking at this. What I like about this shot, ladies and gentlemen, I'll try and give you a bit of knowledge. Now, do you go for the free ball, safety, take the cue ball across and hide the cue ball in behind the six. He's looking at it. Wow, I'm getting better at the commentary. Look at that. These world-class players. I have done many world championships. Around about 35 world tournament championships in snooker, in pool, in billiards. 
when I do the emotion in billiards. Wow, it's too much emotion for me in billiards. I love that game. But right now, we are witnessing the one ball combination onto the two. Hide the cue ball, ladies and gentlemen, is the key. And he's looking at it. Do you see where he's trying to leave the cue ball? As we watch now. Oh, that's what he's doing. He's going to leave the two ball behind. Uh, the one behind the two. Where's he taking it on? Ladies and gentlemen. That is the best plan I've seen on the TV table in all of the hours under pressure. Chang, one ball to the corner pocket. Hold on the free by using the six available. Beautiful. We are witnessing the machine at his best at the present. He knows that this free ball to the five is going to be emotional. He hasn't shown it just yet because the four will take him there. But right now he's looking for the angle. And always remember, a pool player's life is a nightmare. With the ups and the downs. Your day will come. And when it does, enjoy the moment. Where's the white? Perfect. Now, the four for the five. See how he's going to point? Oh, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. I've just witnessed something. We've all witnessed something. In 2000, well, a few years ago, I can't remember the year, he was in the final, and that's his best. What he's just done, the hand position. Ladies and gentlemen, we have just witnessed all together how he used to play. Watch this. He's got this and he's got position. This is what he does. But wait a minute. Wait a minute. The machine has got that shot wrong. Now, if you take this cut on, the cue ball will be traveling around the table. Do you take it on? He's taking it on. This cue ball will be traveling because all of a sudden the table has speeded up. He's got it. Six to the corner. Hold for the uh, eight. The nine for the hill. Oh, he's going forward. Watch the cue ball spin off two rails to get to the eight. One, two. Perfect. And that's what the machine can do. Has put the unforced errors behind him and march on to the finishing line. But do not underestimate the ability of one of the greatest pool players in the world, Alban Ocean. I still believe in a comeback. But we're gonna have to wait and see. 
because this nine ball game, anything can happen. I wonder how John Moore is getting on. I have to stay biased. Let's, uh, let's see what's happened. I'll see if I can find some results for you. But right now, Ladies and gentlemen, to the fans and the tenants, and to the fans around the world, the two balls gone. Hold for the one. Where is the one ball? Two's in the corner. Where's the one? Where's the one? The cue ball's traveling. And the one ball has a wall in front of it. I still believe in a comeback. I really, really do. Will it happen? You have to stay tuned. The machine is on the hill. These gentlemen have been playing for a staggering. Two hours. They have put in the greatest performance of their lives to stay in this tournament. And the reason why I say that, you have to be in the presence of what you have on every shot. Always remember, you can come in in perfect form. When I was in the qualifying stages, I put in the performance of my lifetime. I ran the table five times. And when we got to six each, I cried as I watched the nine ball go in from the break. I shook his hand and wished him all the best in the next round. And that's what you got to do. Become a great loser to become a great champion. As we watch the safety on this one ball, we determine the outcome of the comeback. Yeah. Chang comes to the table. He'll leave the cue ball in behind the cluster there. He's going to use the six ball as a marker and screw back. Look at the presentation. So you can see already. Now, is there a saviour ball for Alwyn to come back in this? Is there a key ball? I'm not too sure, because it's all in the open. Because the two is going to go to the four, the five to the corner, six down the rail, seven to give me. Where is he going with this? Stay tuned. Where's the one? And ladies and gentlemen, to all the Alban Ocean fans around the world, to everybody who's tuned in, your young man has put in a performance of his life to stay in this tournament. Right now, this one ball to stay in the tournament. Just a long way to go, but this one ball because he will have the option of two breaks in a row. Stay tuned.
Elvin has to win six frames to win the match. Chang only won. And that's the difference in the break format. Beautiful. Wait a minute. Dear of him. He's hooked on the eight. Now the jump shot. This is pressure at the maximum. It's no good just hitting it. You have got to pop this album to stay in the tournament. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, amazing. The reason why, if he missed it, he's out of the tournament. If he pots it, he is in the tournament still. Now, Elvin, don't worry about anything. Go out there and enjoy it and hope you can win this frame. Because right now the pressure is on. Such an incredible talent, one of the greatest players in the world. He has been in the comeback before. But right now, ladies and gentlemen, as we watch, the standard of this game is incredible. For pressure, four to the middle, up for the five. But where's the cue ball? Where's the cue ball? Where's the cue ball? Perfect. And the reason why it's perfect is because the cue ball speeded up. We talked about the earlier stages, how the table mysteriously slows down the cue ball. And Elvin, this shot, he's missed already. He's missed this shot. Will he get it this time? Stay tuned. I think he missed it or Chang missed it. Somebody missed it. And oh. He knocked on the door, and Alvin's looking down, knowing that shot could have cost him the match, as we watch the seven for the middle. If we look here, yeah, he's going to re reverse side, or he's going to come and take the eight to the right corner. Watch this. Stay with us. Where's the cue ball? It's speeded up. So he's gone to the left and he knows that the table's helping him here. It's okay. Chang knows he had a chance. An open ocean is on the comeback trail. I believe in Elvin to come back. I really do. And the reason why, you're one of the greatest pool players on the planet. Do you give in when you're trailing, or do you do what you do to be one of the greatest pool players on the planet Earth? So as we see the balls racking up now, Alvin has got two breaks in a row. If he runs out, he will be trailing by one frame. And when it's there, his opponent will come to the table under tremendous pressure. Now when Elwin is on the comeback, stay tuned, grab a cup of tea, we're going to be here for a long time. But always remember in nine ball, anything, the unknown, can happen. And who would have believed it? Chang making mistakes to reach the match winning game. Elwin Ocean has to somehow make two runouts in a row. He cannot afford to allow Shang Chang back at the table. Eight's gone. It's the one ball. Oh, that was the best bit of luck I've seen, ladies and gentlemen, on the TV table. And the reason why, the cue ball was destined 
to go in the middle pocket. Now, Alvin, whatever happens, you must run this table one to the corner. The free ball will be the frame winning ball. He can't afford to miss. He can't believe he's got a golden opportunity. It's not a silver break by any means, but to win this frame, to trail by one frame. Chang is looking on, waiting for the human error. But right now, Albin Ocean, I've seen something, ladies and gentlemen. Look at Albin Ocean. His presentation is in control of his motions. He will put in a performance of his life right now to stay in the tournament. This is not a formality. Beautiful shot. Alvin has got to pot this six. Hold for the nine as well from the seven, so watch how he does it. I think he's gonna stun it in. Is he gonna go up and down? This is risky. This is risky. This is risky. Because he's upset, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I'm saying to you. The table is alive. Mysterious things are happening when the AC goes on. And when it's turned off, it speeds up. And he can't believe where he is as we watch the seven. Let's have a look at camera four. This is what it's about. The angle. Do you screw, draw the cue ball back and hold for the nine to the right corner? Let's see what happens. Whatever happens, he has to pot this seven ball to stay in the tournament. It's missable. Where's the cue ball? Where's the cue ball? Wow. Well done. He's, he's got the seven. And now, Alvin's already miscued. This eight ball to go two frames behind. He's got it. What a comeback. Now he does break again. So, if he breaks some runs, he will be one frame behind and his opponent, the machine, Zhang Ling Chan, will come to the table knowing he has to break and run to go through to the top 16. But right now, Alvin Ocean, I said to you fans, to all the family members, your young man is putting in the performance of his life to stay in this tournament. So stay tuned. Don't move from the screen because every shot is vital. The wing ball's gone, we know that. It's the one ball I'm watching. Where's the one? Where's the one? Where's the one? Ladies and gentlemen, I can confirm to you we're almost there. That would have been a silver break. And I'm almost, I, I can call it 
because if he can open the seven, but I can't because it's too difficult. However, we can call it, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first silver break of this match. There is no ball what can be missed. He will run the table, I can assure you. The human error is the only shot of a miscue. He will not miss anything because it's all there. There's plenty of room from the ball, perfect. Very nicely done. So, the two to the three is all basic. The four is basic, the plant's basic. We are the greatest pool player in the world. You won't miss this. That's why it's a silver break. Beautiful. Urban Ocean has been on a roller coaster ride. And he's took us all with him. And all of a sudden, he will be one frame away to bringing it level. But right now, we have to enjoy the moment. There it is. He's perfect. He's okay. He's fine. He, he popped that. Because the six and the seven is a formality plant. John Ling Chan hasn't had a shot in two games. As we watch the Formality 7 and look at Urban Ocean, he is in a zone. He has to take his time. What an amazing character. He's had a motion of going up and down. Chang looks on. He can't look, and that's what the emotion does to you. The nine ball world will take you to another dimension. <clears throat> so you see the extension coming now. He's got to get this six for the corner. It's a very difficult long shot. As he's bridging, he has to make sure he holds for the eight. Stay with us. It's missable. <sighs> wow, it knocked on the door. It knocked on the door. He's using his extension as we watch now. The eight to the nine. This nine ball, Elwyn Ocean, you have put in an amazing emotional performance. Well done. There is nothing you can do now, Elvin. There's nothing you can do. Well done for bringing it back. Now, Chang John Ling Chan has two breaks in a row. He only needs one rollout. And will it happen? We're going to have to wait and see. But we know one thing. With a break system, Erwin has to win this round. There's no ifs, there's no buts. But where do you know what I haven't seen on this table? It's an enough, and I feel an enough from the break. I don't know why. Alwyn can't look.
Where's the weight? He's okay. Traffic stopped the weight. But all of a sudden, the traffic has stopped the roadmap clearance. I really believed in an in off, but there was enough traffic to stop the weight in time. But I can assure you, the pressure is on Jung Ling Chan. He will take this on. Will he jump it? I think he will. He'll leave the cue ball down behind. Is he going to take this on? Will he leave the cue ball? Can he see it? Can he see that? Let's have a look at camera four. We've got an incredible camera team. We're doing our best. Does that go through the gap? Does that go through the gap? I think it does. And if that's the case... Now, don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, we have witnessed an incredible ride of two hours and 15 minutes. We've seen, if you've just joined us, the emotional side of the Nineball world. I don't think he can get through the gap. Or can he? No, he can't. Because he's hesitating. This is the longest shot in the match so far. As we watch... Dong Ling Chan take this one ball on. But if he misses it, it will be Hill Hill. And Urban Ocean will be given a golden opportunity. But it's all on this one ball. Stay with us. Where's the white? Where's the white? Look at the angle of their middle pocket. But this is for the match. Alwyn Ocean, you have put in an incredible performance with what you had in this match. Always remember, you can't bring your A game. You can't bring the game you've won everything. Because nine ball changes everything. This two ball. Wow. He's going for the corner pocket. Because he knows that, that middle pocket. Jang knows, yeah. Chang knows that this two ball is the most pressure shot on the table. Does he? Oh, he's going to go for the middle. No, he's going for the corner. This is missable. Will he get it? He's missed it. He's missed it. Alwyn Ocean comes to the table to all the fans and to all the family members. Your young man has got the chance of a lifetime. And remember what I said. I believe in a comeback. And here it is. It's down to you, Alvin. It's all down to you.
Ah, good. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I apologise about the sound, but we've been an emotional comeback here. And one thing about it. Urban Ocean. Wait a minute. It is. I'm not too sure. So the players are just asking, who's the break? Alban has two breaks in a row. It's been an emotional ride. If you've just joined us, we apologise about the sound. But one thing about it, we are on a roller coaster ride in this match. All of us around the world. So as you can see, the wing ball is gone. It's just the one ball. Watch the one ball. Where's the two? Ladies and gentlemen, the most powerful break in the match. The silver break. Welcome. To, Alia, to, to Alban Ocean. Well done. Now, the two is a formality. The three will take him to the four. But he knows this run out will win him the match. And why I say that? Because Alban breaks again. And from the beginning, I've always said do not underestimate. One of the greatest pool players in the world. His ability, his strength is second to none. The willpower of getting through to the top 32 in the tournament. At the Qatar Open Nine Ball Championships of 2023. This four ball to bring it back. If he misses it, he's out. If he pots it, he's got a chance. And there it is, as now, this six ball is the most difficult shot he will play to stay alive in this match, ladies and gentlemen. Six to the middle. That's why he's hesitating. He's got to get this perfect. No, that's not the best of shots. At least he's got an angle. He can create an angle. But imagine this from seven to nine to go hill, hill for the match. Stay tuned. The pressure is on. Perfect. Urban Ocean. This nine ball to get to the hill and the machine Jung Ling Chong can only look on and remember what I said ladies and gentlemen from the beginning I see a comeback I believe in a comeback because the greatest players in the world are playing now is it a golden break for the first one on the TV table I feel it. I really do. I feel the golden break is here. I don't know why. Young Ling Chong is asking, who's the break? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm thrown. I'm thrown. We're all thrown. What happens here? Do, does, does the player roll up for the break? Ladies and gentlemen, I just realised the rule system, even I'm new to it, even the players are new to it. 
John Ling Chung said to the referee, you roll for the break. We're not too sure. Stay tuned. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I'm looking for John Mora. I don't know the outcome of any of the matches because I don't turn my phone on. As I give you 100% focus, Copinging is on the table in the middle arena, and his brother's just right beside him. And there's Ricky from Qatar putting in an incredible performance. And I've thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed this tournament. I don't know who's won. Carlo Bonanno is over there on the other table. I don't know who won out of Tostin Holman and Joshua Filler. I haven't got a clue. My phone is off and I focus 100% only on the match. And Cater Billiard Federation have got put on an amazing show for all the players. And I can assure you, this tournament is getting bigger and bigger every year. And well done to everybody. Around about 100 people plus, from table fitters to media team to referees to everyone who's made this incredible tournament happen. And to the players as well. Oh, there's John Mora. There he is to the right. He's queuing up in the red shirt. I can't see the scoreboard, but it's, it's okay. Because the eye of the tiger is zoned in. So he must have won his first match. I don't know. John breaks. Card, love to have done uh, commentary on John Moore's game. Of all the games. What a great player John Moore is. I was in Canada training with him. I had a lovely holiday as well. Amir Rotter is playing. Coping. Yeah, he's, he's over there. So we're just making sure everything happens here. We're doing our best to bring you live action. We apologise. The AC is turned on and it's cold out there. As we watch John Moore to the right in the corner table. So we're Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We apologize. It's Alvin Ocean to break. He's just waiting for the camera crew. We apologize for any delay. Alvin Ocean to win a staggering one of the greatest comebacks on the TV table I've seen. Alvin, five to the corner. Beautiful. Where's the one? Where's the one? Where's the one? Wow. The one is not possible. That's not what it's not possible, I'm afraid. Whoever wins this frame. But bear with me. I'm not too sure. Does it go to ten each? Do you race to ten? And when it's ten each, you row for the lag? Stay with me, because I I've, I haven't been here in this situation. So we are all new together. Does he take this one ball on? Leaves the cue ball behind the six. 
Stay with us. He's taking the tuple on. This will be the greatest plant combination. One to the two, two to the corner to win the match. Stay with us as we are witnessing the greatest comeback on the TV table of 2023. And these players have been playing for a staggering three hours and 35 minutes of unbelievable emotional roller coaster ride to ball what a beautiful shot when I thought he was going for the plant I don't think he can jump that too difficult to jump. I've seen them closer than that and they do some magic. Trick shot. I've seen trick shots. So this one ball, he has to pot it. He can't, remember, he can't just hit it. He has to pot it. No good hitting it. Three hours and 40 minutes of a roller coaster ride. Unbelievable. It's been like that all the way through the match. I saw things, they didn't happen, but I predicted one outcome the comeback from Alvin Ocean. He is trying to pot this, I can assure you. And ladies and gentlemen, to the fans around the world, to all the Alban Ocean fans and family members, your young man has got the opportunity of a lifetime to get to the top 32. And always remember, it's what you bring at the table. It's not what you've won. The emotional side. I wouldn't be surprised if Alban Ocean takes a big rest after this match. Because he knows he has been on a roller coaster ride with ups and downs. Look at this presentation. The smoothness. Did you see what he did? He just wants to see how bouncy that rail is by feeling the rail as we watch the two go to the corner. Hold for the five to the six as a formality. Freeze for the seven. Hold for the eight to be crowned top 32 player. We can see now it's starting to get the tension on both players. Dong Ling Chan can only hope for a human error, but I don't see it. However, and this is however, this is pressure. Where's the white? Where's the white? Beautiful. If, oh, look at the angle though. He has to hit this. Perfect. It's not about potting it. It's hitting it, stroking through the cue ball, stunning it in to perfection to stay in the top 32. Stay with us. Reverse side, but it didn't happen. Look at camera four. Look at the jaws of the pocket. It's tight. He's done it. I don't know if Elwin wins the match. Stay with us. If he does, the greatest comeback 
on the TV table. Nine ball. For the match. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's happening? Jung Ling Chan is getting his break cue. But it's... I thought... Wow. This is the first time I've ever seen this, so stay with us. Alvin Ocean is on another hill. But right now, this brake system has caught me out. Has it caught you guys out? Because I don't know. I've never seen this before. But I know one thing. The brake and run to survive in the tournament. But I've always thought about the in-off. I caught it earlier. But will this be the in-off? Stay tuned. Yong Ling Chang to break. Where's the white? Where's the one? Where's the one? Where's the one? Wow, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great honor to present to you the silver break. Unmissable. You can't miss this run out. It's impossible to miss when you are on the stage with the greatest pool players in the world. Alvin knows that that silver break will go to Hill Hill. Do not ask me, I don't know what happens next. We are on a journey of the unknown. But he's going to come back across here. What he's going to do? Oh, he's looked at it. He's looked at it. He's trying to move the two ball. But it is a silver break. Put the pressure on himself. He may be stopping from running out. It's all there. But the reality is... Self-belief. There it is. He's only got to pop the free ball. Because the rest is in the open. The two ball is going to the corner. Let's enjoy this moment of an incredible run out together to all the Jung Ling fans and family members. Your young man has put in a performance of his life. Two gladiators are doing their best with what they have. So, wait a minute, wait a minute. He hasn't come up far enough. Let's have a look at camera four. He's fine. He's fine, because they'll take the five to the corner. Run through to the six. There it is. Now, all of us have been through an emotional time. And right now, the time has been coming to three hours and 45 minutes to see one of the greatest matches we've seen on the TV table together. I hope you're enjoying it in as much as I am. Now, he wanted that bounce one more turn. Half a turn, perfect. But one more turn, it would have been the dream to run this six to the eight. Stay tuned. I'm going to stay quiet. Let's all enjoy this moment together.
unbelievable on behalf of Cancer Billiard Snooker Federation on behalf of everybody in the team over a hundred people putting this event on we say thank you there's, there's no what's happening what's happening look at the love between them shaking each other's hand the fist pump to make this happen on behalf of all of us well done to both players but the table speeded up for Alban as we watch now. Now, what can happen here? I'm not too sure. Does he give his opponent the break? Or does Alban take the break? But that cue ball has been destined to go in off. But who knows if that will happen. But one thing about it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the highest level we have seen on the TV table. The first match to go to the hill. Is Elbin breaking? And the fans are watching now as we witness an incredible gladiator battle in the pool arena. And we've had an amazing time here as we watch this battle come to an end to all the Albanosian families and friends and fans around the world. He's put in the performance of his life. Jung Ling Chung, who's put in another performance of his life to his family and the fans around the world. We are in for a thriller. Do not blink on that cue ball. Watch the cue ball. Is it destined to go in off? Who knows? Where's the white? He's okay. But where's the one? Where's the one? It gives me great honor to introduce to you the silver break. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to I Can't Miss That break. But under these conditions, under the emotion, we're gonna have to wait and see the passion of this frame. It's going to be emotional because we are coming up. Look at the machine. An amazing performance he took. I remember he was on the verge of winning this match uh, on the hill. 8-4. Or 7-4, I think it was. 7-4. Up. And the brake system has helped Alban Ocean. As we watch now the one to the corner. Uh, sorry, to the middle. Again, an emotional the two to the corner. This is why it's a silver break. You can run around for the three. You're fine. Will, oh, did you see what I just seen? The deep breath of pressure. He's under tremendous pressure, ladies and gentlemen. He knows that this too, Paul. I don't want him to hear me, so I'm just whispering. Apologize if you can't hear me, but let me tell you something. Let's all enjoy the moment of the greatest TV match we've seen in the tournament. On behalf of Cancer Billiard Federation, on behalf of all over a hundred staff, thank you for joining us in such an emotional game. To the fans and the tenants and to the fans around the world, thank you.
Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Kata Billiard Snooker Federation, Kata Open Nine Ball Championships of 2023, your top 32 player, Alban Ocean. Unbelievable comeback. Well done to both players for the most emotional game of nine ball I've ever commented it on. Bye bye, everybody. Welcome to Qatar Open Nine Ball Championships of 2023. We have just witnessed all the worldwide fans to one of the greatest pool matches on the TV table so far. The epic battle. I always knew Alban could come back from 7-4. The brake system helped him. But unfortunately, he couldn't get there without an incredible journey. Alban Ocean. How did you do it? Don't ask me, I don't know. Um, I played not really good in the beginning. Didn't feel good. Was a little bit nervous, like also in the end. But then uh, he missed a few shots that I didn't think he would miss, especially the two ball, um, I think, to win the match. So um, I took my chance in the end, and I'm glad I won it, because I would be very sick if I would lose it with this comeback. And how did you feel the break system helping you. I predicted when you were 7-4 down, I honestly believed because you're one of the greatest pool players on planet Earth, you could come back. And I believe the break system did that for you. Could be. Um, I don't know if in that stage, uh, I think uh, I ran both of my breaks and his break uh, didn't really work out well, only in the end. So um, yeah, probably helped me. Also the lag, I think maybe helped me in the end. Um, but yeah, my, my break worked well from the middle of the match and I think I made four or five runouts. So yeah, definitely helped me. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to say well done to Alban Ocean, who's in the top 32 in the Qatar Open Nine Board Championships of 2023. I feel like I'm or, I already won the tournament. <laughs> well done, Alban. Thanks. Stay tuned for the next game. What a cracking game we've had. Thank you.
Qatar Open Nine Ball Championships of 2023. Have we got a treat for you? He comes in as the ranked number one pool player of Qatar, Adif. Welcome. Yeah, welcome. Hi. And how are you feeling in the tournament? Yeah, I feel good. Uh, uh, and uh, I, I hope uh, we play a good match, me and my partner. And, play good. and the most important thing, you're representing your country and there's an opportunity for the top 32. Yeah. And on behalf of Caterpillar Federation, we say we wish you all the best. A diff, Thank ladies you. and gentlemen. Thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, when you need the greatest human in the country, you call upon Ali O'Bailey. Incredible to get this far. <coughs> You're an incredible talent in both sports. The ranked number one snooker player, the Formula One pool player. Ali, how are you playing? Um, I'm feeling good, playing very good. Um playing my partner in the match, was, which is always not nice, but uh, sometimes it happens. Um, so hopefully it's a, it's a good match. You know, one of the answers will win and uh, all the best for Qatar and my partner. Well, having said that, thank you very much to all the fans and we hope you enjoy the match. Thank Ladies you. and gentlemen, Ali O'Bailey and Edith. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Catalan Nine Ball Open Championships of 2023. I'm a bit emotional because we just witnessed one of the greatest matches in the tournament. The TV table has presented us an incredible match. When we look at this TV table, we can confirm the cloth is fast, it's slow during the whole match. The AC has been turned off. I can tell you exactly when it's on and when it's off because I'm sitting underneath the AC. Now, why does the AC go on? Because it warms, well, it chills the players out, that's number one. And when it's off, it warms the players up. What does it do to the cloth? Completely makes it very difficult to adjust to. We've seen that already over the last few days. And one thing we're about to witness is the greatest human with that title in the country of Qatar. I know everything about these players, 100%. I've trained with them for 12 years and I was on a training program with them when I came back from my holiday from America. And I was on a training program for three months with Team Kata. Yes, I lost in the tournament. Not a problem. I'm invited back next year. But right now, we are witnessing two of the greatest players in the country. Ali is ranked number one in snooker. Ranked number four in pool. That's why he missed it. Because you have to be perfect on that shot. And a diff. What can I say about a diff? One. Ranked number one in the country. Not only are we great friends in Ali and a diff. It took years to understand their games, how they play. 
And I'm very proud to announce that both of these players are representing Qatar to be in the top 32. As we watch now, Ali come to the table to take the three. Uh, sorry, to take the one. Ali does travel the world. He went to America as well. He has played on the World Cup of Pool. And he's a world stage pool player. And as for snooker, unbelievable talent. Ali can play right-handed and left-handed. What a talent that is. He will miss, he will make mistakes for a reason. Psychological pressure, he's put in that arm to himself. He will adjust very quickly and he can run out time after time. But a diff, out of the two of them, it's too close to call and I stay absolutely biased, always have done all the way through the matches. A diff is such a master of staying at the table. And what I mean by that is his presentation, his focus and determination to stay there. Yes, the problem ball is the three, but the reality is a diff is queuing so well to get this far. And I've trained with a diff over the three months. If you don't play perfect, you can't beat him. Will Ali bring his game today? He's made unforced errors already. Will that affect him on the first frame? And I've just seen the body language of a diff saying this two ball should have been much easier. Why are they struggling already? And the answer is the table. It's completely different to the outside tables. And what I mean by that is because of the light system. There's five lights underneath, uh, above that table. And it's really mentally draining the players with the heat out there. We've seen Elven Ocean, Jung Lung Chang, play incredible for f nearly four hours match now the diff is looking here and I know his game very well he must be playing very well to get here to the top 64 I can confirm Bashar my training partner the golden one is out of this year's tournament. There's big news coming for all you world fans around the world. We can't tell you just yet what's happening next year, but stay tuned because something's very special is happening as we watch now. And I also like to say thank you very much to Ian Anderson who came and sat with me just now and to all the WPA officials. Thank you very much. The most important thing about doing commentary, it is difficult because the reality is I'm here staggering 60 hours, in fact, 70 hours this week, non-stop action, just a few hours sleep and I'm doing my best to bring you the emotional side of the game. And why do I do it? Because I love it, to give back to what Nine Ball is, it's the roller coaster. And you need to explain that to the audience. When I was watching the Chang play, he was a robot. But I saw something very special. He misses. And I knew when he was going to miss. But one thing about it, the emotional side of Nine Ball is a world we don't usually talk about. But if you listen to me, we will go on a roller coaster ride together as we watch the seven to the middle. Hold for the nine to take the first frame. Now, both of these players have got the ability to stay focused. They're trained by Costa from Russia. Amir Rotter, the coaches. I've trained these players to be where they are. 
incredible. And the snooker coach, Michael Giorgio, is still in the tournament. And I feel he's going through to the top 32. So on behalf of everybody at Caterpillar Snooker Federation, we say thank you to you, to the fans who are tuning in, and to the families as well. And I know for a fact, Ali O'Bailey's family are all watching. Mahana O'Bailey, Mansoura O'Bailey, and all other family members. As for Adif, once again, they're all looking in. So will this be an emotional game? I don't think it will be. I really don't. We won't experience that emotion. There's a reason. Because they've played each other hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times. As we watch now the one ball. And they will will the power of each other to progress to the 32 and wish him all the best. One thing is for certain, Catter are in the top 32. So the emotional side of this game, we won't see it, I'm afraid. I don't think it will be there because they're there playing each other. If you play a stranger, it's there. But when you know each other's game, the emotional side doesn't really play a part. Yes, run out to available. If they miss, frustration. But when they miss, it's not a problem. They move on. And the secret of nine ball will always be to move on from the missed ball you missed. Easier said than done. These players have travelled around the Middle East. Titles they have won is incredible. And one thing is for sure. Adif has got to that rank number one for a reason. He's worked hard to be there. As for Ali, he will be playing in the biggest snooker tournament in the Middle East in November. Being a World Billiards commentator, I will be there too. I do it for the passion. I do it for the love. So as we see a formality four ball to the corner, hold for the six for the right corner. Beautiful cue action. Now with F, it's Q he's using. I don't talk about cues, and I don't talk about the player sponsors. But look how he uses this beautiful magic wand. Such a great player. And in no time at all, Adif brings this back to one apiece. Now the Catter Open Nine Ball Championships, ladies and gentlemen, we're down to the top 32 players very shortly after this match. I don't know any outcome, I don't turn my phone on because I give you what you need a hundred percent focus to watch this match so all of us are going to experience clinical clearances today from both players so there won't be too much emotion so always remember this game ball this nine ball sorry is so emotional sometimes but when you play somebody you know when you play somebody you train with, the game changes. Look how cool Ali is 
that's why he is one of the greatest. He holds the title as the greatest cueist in the country. Nobody's done anything like he has. He's won rank number one, rank number one at pool and snooker. Yes, Bashar has won many gold medals. But when it comes to Ali O'Bailey, he holds the record of the greatest Q player in the country. And I'm very proud to say, over the years, Ali and Adif have trained with me. Thank you. So the six is gone. We all know the swing ball is gone. You know I call the one ball, so we're just going to see what happens today. And we're just going to enjoy the ride of excellence during this game. So it won't be emotional, because I have to stay biased, which I always have done. Maybe I can give you a bit of an insight to the nine ball world. The break is the key shot. You know you're going to pot the one. So you know you're going to make the wing ball. So you're at the table. But how do you control the one the one ball? So as you break, you try and hit the thin side of the white. So sort of like half of it. So it rebounds off the pack and goes to the top of the table. The white you try to hold somewhere in the middle. It doesn't happen all the time, but the secret is train at the break. For all of us in the Middle East, all the players in the Middle East, these tables are very difficult to play on. A lot of the world's greatest pool players live on these tables, so they know exactly how to use them. So we're looking at the nine ball combination. The rails react different. But the key to the TV table is this. AC affects it. No AC affects it. It dries out, it gets moist, and you can't use the cue ball. As so we watch Charlie miss the nine there. You won't be upset. Because these players are playing a completely different emotional game. As we watch now with Diff, try and find a safety. But nicely paused at one apiece. Will it go the distance? I'm going to have to wait and see. I can't call it because it won't be an emotional match. But one thing I can call, whoever plays the best in consistency will win the match. And Ali will put in an incredible performance as a diff wheel. So well done. I'm going to have a short break. So I'll be back very shortly. Stay with us.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I apologise not being here. It was my break time. And this nine ball. The three one lead. He is going for the double. And if you've just joined us, we say thank you on behalf of Cancer Billiard Snooker Federation. And we hope you enjoy the tournament over the next few days. We are we have one more live show after this match. The longest match in history on the TV table was the Open Ocean against Chang. And we witnessed something very special. Elbin was 7-4 down. And I believed... He would do a comeback. There was something special in the game. No in off. I sensed that would happen. But the emotional side took us to Hill Hill. Both players lagged for the break. When I look at their diff and Ali playing each other, they are my training partners. To beat them, you've got to play perfection. But this table will catch you out. I've seen the greatest pool players in the world miss. And I don't go into the emotional side of this game. Because they are my training partners and I stay biased. And always remember, when you're playing each other or somebody you know, you tend to play the player instead of what's at the table when you're playing a stranger you play the balls when I beat the greatest pool player from Saudi I was at 6-6 and I was in a tactical battle for about 5 minutes on one ball and it was the greatest jump shot I've ever done to survive to go through to the top 16. So it just goes to show in the stages ones and twos you work so hard. And I can tell you one thing. Qatar will announce something very special on the world final stage of the Qatar Open Nine Ball Championships, so stay tuned for that. My commentary is different 
on this match. And the reason why is because I trained with both of these players. And the emotional side, I don't give away. Because I know how they feel and I stay completely biased. And this match is completely different to any match I commentated on because whoever loses, whoever wins, would be so grateful to that player representing their country. And one thing about this match, Qatar will know that their best player is still in the tournament, in the top 16. I'm a great believer in emotional games and I'm also a great believer in let them go out and play their games without too much drama because I know all the brothers are watching Ali play and family I don't want to give away too much because I've trained with them for 12 years so I can tell you when they're missing and I can tell you when they're going to pop. So we don't need to go through that experience. But what we will experience all together who's watching is both players are doing their best to represent their country. I know Bashar is lost. The coaches are still in. I feel that Amir Rotter is still in. Michael Giorgio, snooker coach, is still in. And these two players will advance one of them to the top 32. So it's very complex to do the commentary on this. But I'm thoroughly enjoying it already. And there's the nine ball. And that's what I was, was going to call on. Because Ali is an attacking player. I can give you some insight of Ali's game. And I can give you some insight on a diff's game. Ali, well, I'll go for the weaknesses, then we'll go to the positives. Ali wants to put everything in sight and get on with the next game before the first one's finished. And what I mean by that, you'd rather take the nine ball on if it's available. And we've just seen that. Strengths. Incredible stamina. Incredible potting. Consistency. The will to win and the belief in nine ball. A diff. Weaknesses. When it goes wrong, you have to try and deal with it. And sometimes a diff struggles with the nine ball game. I think it all affects us because of the emotional side that you haven't performed well. Even when a diff wins title matches in the Middle East, when I interview him, the first thing he says, I didn't play well, didn't play well. My game not there, my game not there. And that's called perfection. For me, he played supreme, but for him, He's in the court zone of taking his game to another level. Unfortunately, when it goes wrong, the roller coaster ride is all downhill. But when he's playing well, he's unstoppable. And that's why he's in top 64. So we've experienced the lows. We've experienced the highs in their career. And I still believe in both of these players because of their determination 
It's incredible. And we see the one ball miss there. And the diff will be disappointed. So I won't go into the emotion side too much. Because we have to be an open book, basically. These are two of my training partners, so... I know exactly how they feel. And being sensible commentator on this occasion is the right way. Yes, I get into it. Why not? Because I'm a great believer in the emotional side of the game. I can confirm to you I've created something very special. It's called the Silver Break. And I was told today how wonderful that is. So thank you very much to one of the, I won't mention his name, one of the greatest pool players in the world. Thank you very much to him. The Silver Break is recognized all over the world. And Pepsi invented it. The first commentator in the world to comment on the Silver Break. What is a Silver Break, people was asking. When we see one, when I see one, I will tell you. Who invented the Golden Break? An English eight ball. The golden eight ball. I was on a holiday in. I'll tell you some stories. I was in holiday. I won a big tournament. One of the biggest in the country. What happened was it. The tournament ran on for two weeks. This is a true story. Now in this two weeks. The rail caught a diff out there. This tournament ran on for two weeks non-stop every day. You had to pay, I'll do it in US dollars, 10 US dollars per go, per person. You had to run the table from one to nine in the fastest time in two weeks. So you could have as many goes as you want and all the prize money was in the pot. Now the winner gets the pot. True story. So there I am with no money. And this gentleman, never seen before, he said to me, the cattle gentleman it was, lovely person, I'm sure he was. I'm not too sure of the nationality, to be fair. And I said, I haven't got any money on me. He said, have one go, one go. True story, are you ready for this? I took, I was in the queue, the last go after two weeks of everybody playing. You could have as many goes as you want, but the winner gets a holiday of a lifetime. True story. Are you ready? So there I am, thinking. I'm out in the street. The whole street was shut down. It was at the Pearl, in one of the most amazing clubs, the Mega Police Club in the Pearl. In Qatar, cinema, bowling alley, arcades. They shut the whole street down for two billiard competitions and a Formula One go-kart ride on the... Ali will be happy to see that stop there. So they had this simulator for a Formula One car. The prizes were the best prizes in pool. And for the simulator car, Formula One car. Whoever won the pool competitions had a... a a thousand US dollars prize money and a holiday of a lifetime. So, 
the gentleman who won the Formula One simulator car tournament, which went on for two weeks, the fastest time around the lap, got a mini, mini coupe car. For the pool players, was two tournaments. Nine ball, which Benji won from Qatar, lovely man from the Philippines. And the fastest pool player in two weeks. So as I explained, I didn't have any money on me. I didn't even know the tournament was there. And they asked me to play. I said, I'm, what do I do? He said, run the nine ball, you run the table. Now the table was on a stage in the street. Around about five, 600 people surrounded the table as Pepsi walks up to the arena. As I walk along the red carpet, everybody's cheering. Were they cheering to see me not make it? Were they cheering to see me make it? And this is a true story. As I'm walking up the red carpet, I just asked the pool gods for one second to give me that opportunity for a good split. So there I am on the stage and everybody says Pepsi, ladies and gentlemen, Pepsi from England will attempt to pop nine balls in a row in the fastest time of the tournament. So I had to go from one to nine. So I broke, balls were tied up, such a shame. But something special happened. I had to win by 60.4 seconds to run the table. Balls were tied up. I couldn't go anywhere. I asked the pool guards for one shot. I'm gonna go into the balls and hope that something goes in. Unlucky a death. And all of a sudden, I went through the cluster and one dropped in and everything opened up. As my time was ticking, I didn't have the time to chalk the queue. I had to run literally around the table. My presentation for each shot was one second. I just went down and hit the ball. I missed. I was allowed another go. I missed. My seconds were ticking away. Then something special happened. I didn't miss a ball. I'm on the nine ball. But I don't know what my time is. I got to beat 60.4 seconds. Everybody was there. The camera crew were watching. I'm on the nine ball. And I'm thinking to myself, if I pop this nine ball, I didn't have time to think. I missed it. I would like to say thank you to the pool guards who made the nine ball go in. Thank you to them because that nine ball rolled up and went in the pocket. Unbelievable. I won the tournament by 60.2 seconds. I won a holiday to Georgia with a thousand US dollars spending money. Unlucky there, Ali. And my wife and family were so happy for a great tournament to be won. And that's what Paul does to you. You never know when you miss the nine ball. It will go in one day. And when that day is your time. Enjoy that moment. Well, we're back to the game. I gave you an insight of what nine ball can do for you. And tournaments in Qatar are incredible. There's only a handful of people who's won every one, every tournament. And I'm one of them. Eight ball, nine ball, and ten ball. Just amazing. And that's down to because I train with these two young men. Incredible players. So as you can see now, the two to the corner. Beautiful shot. The three. He would take the four, 
He might take the four in the same pocket as the three. But a death is a great champion to be ca crowned cat as number one. And we play in many big tournaments all together. The Ramadan tournament is one of the biggest ones, the Qatar Open as well. Tournaments we play in, it's on a three day tournament schedule. As we watch now, the seven to the corner. I can confirm, Pepsi was the only England player in the whole tournament. But next year, something is so special happening. Very nice to hear. Ireland are going to be travelling over to Qatar. Ireland pool players, whale pool players. They would like to play in the Qatar Open. And who knows how far they go. Well, one thing is for sure, they'll be traveling over to compete in the Qatar Open Nine Ball Championships. So well done to them as well. Qatar have something very special in November in snooker. World Championship Snooker is in Qatar. The IBSF World Team Event. Doubles Event. Singles Event. Ladies Event. World Billiards Event. I believe it's 15 days of incredible snooker around the world. So as we can see now, the players are getting ready. Seven, six, one, seven frames are gone. Can a diff come back? And the feeling of trying to survive in this match, it's very difficult because you both know each other's game. And Ali will look at this. And what a beautiful start for Ali. But I can assure you, the diff will not give in. And there's many pool tournaments in Qatar. One ball, beautiful. Ali's taught me that break. It's not a silver break because the four ball is on the rail. The five is not in the open. We haven't seen a silver break in this match so far. We saw it against Alex and Walid from Saudi Arabia. And the record for silver breaks was from Walid from Saudi Arabia. He potted four balls on two occasions for a silver break. Everything over the pockets. Now, the diff is so cool, I can assure you. He's enjoying the moment. That's what a diff does. A lovely man. A diff's treble ball is the four. As so we watch the two and the three as a formality. Look at a diff's presentation. Beautiful player, he really is. Look at the focus. Look at the determination. Three to the corner. Out for the four. Now there is one more 
match to play who will get into the top 16 on this table right away and then tomorrow it's the top 16 to quarterfinals and we're going to be playing semis and the final and then the grand final who will grab the 50,000 US dollars prize money I've just spoken to Joshua Feller who beat Tostin Holman and Joshua said he's back <coughs> on at six o'clock will he come to the TV table I hope so Such a beautiful player. Beautiful queuing. Just rolling them in. And that's what you got to do when you're trailing the secret of the break I've experienced so far in the emotional roller coaster ride don't give in <laughs> Urban Ocean for 7 4 down and I believed he would come back to win Players are clapping their player spectators. I don't watch any results. I'm giving you guys 100% focus on this game. It's nice to give a nice story, a true story, now and again. Wait a minute, wait a minute, stay with us, Amir Rotter is still at the table, the brothers are still at the table, but John Moore's game's over, did John Moore win? I don't know, but I know one thing, the players are just waiting for everything to settle down, in this game you need the patience and quietness of the table. And that's how we play in Kata. The Kata Billiard Federation are amazing. We have these tables now in the Federation. Beautiful snooker tables as well. And we have our own home, new home soon. It's a beautiful setup. And I believe there's a TV room table as well almost a silver break it's just a one ball the one ball has to sit over a pocket for a silver break and the free ball as well in the middle of the table but very close to a silver break but it's not Silver break is when they're all over the pockets and it's impossible to miss. So we see now the two, the three to the four, sorry, the five. And on behalf of everybody here, He's put in an amazing performance. I've done commentary for 60 hours now. Coming to 70, actually 60, 67 hours non-stop. Loving every second of it. 
and tomorrow will be the top 16 to the quarterfinals. On the last day is the semi-finals in the final. And I'm looking forward to every match. And stay tuned. And always remember the nine ball world as a pool player you're traveling the world. If you don't win it's very difficult. And the standard is changing. Catter's format for this tournament, the break system, the table's 4.2 inch pockets, the greatest player in the match on the day is the winner. And thank you very much to the WPA. Uh, join us very shortly. We're just having a commercial break.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. John Mora has won. Congratulations, John. Eye of the Tiger. It's a very dear friend. I know I've got to stay biased, but 9-2 uh, victory. He wants this title. 50,000 US dollars for the winner. No, I def missed that. In this game, there's another dimension called trying too hard. Easier said than done. This has been a very difficult match to commentate on. because I know what both of these players are capable of doing. See the apology there from a deaf. That's what he does, he just apologizes. Great, he's a gentleman. Both of these players are just incredible sportsmen. Whoever wins, I can, I, I assure you, will congratulate both players. For me, a deaf hasn't performed this to his best and it's, it's a strange way to say it because you're playing somebody you train with and know over the years. Same for Ali. But the reality always will be when you're playing your fellow countryman, the game's completely different. But one thing is for sure Kata have a player in the top six, uh, 32. Well, you can't ask for a better outcome there. So it's very difficult to commentate, like, uh, co commentate on this game. But I thoroughly enjoy it. There isn't any emotion. Because uh, I know exactly what they can do. After 12 years of training with them. Playing them in tournaments. Matef is such a lovely man. He really, really is.
nicely done. I do see the four and the nine together. Ali will jump this. He's a great jump player. And Ali is travelling the world as well. He'll be getting ready for November. Where's the white? He will be disappointed because of the combination on the nine. And Ali will be getting his snooker cue out after this tournament. So I say goodbye to the pool world after this match. And he will be focusing on snooker for the World Championships. And you can join me because I do World Billiards commentating on the all the World Championships in snooker and in billiards. And I do it because I love the game. Being a volunteer is one of the greatest emotional parts of myself put back into the game. I'm nowhere near a professional commentator. I just say all you how it is. And I thoroughly enjoy giving you my experience in the nine ball world. I'm completely different in the snooker world, but still to this day, there's one billiards tournament I'd love to do. And it's the ultimate game. Free cushion billiards. I think my passion and emotion will take me to a new level. Watching the cue ball go around the table to find the angles. I'll be flying around the world again. So I will be flying to the Motis for the world's top 16 pool players who are selected. And I've been invited next year. And next year, ladies and gentlemen, I will be the world's billiards commentator for Chinese 8-ball. So enjoy me there. But you never know. They've put me in the tournament. And because I'm an English 8-ball player, and I grew up with Gareth Potts, Chris Melling, Darren Appleton, in the English 8-ball world, who knows what could happen? Well, that's in the future. But right now, we're in the present of a comeback. It's a long way for a diff. He has to win a staggering. But he's got this one. Six frames in a row. To qualify for the top 32. And what I mean by that, he can't afford to miss any ball. And he has to play perfect. This nine to hold to the corner. I played this one of these nines. If you stay still, you got it. You move, not going in. There is one more match after this. It's the six o'clock session. We are behind time due to the fact of Owen Ocean doing one of the greatest comebacks in the tournament to win on the hill at 10 apiece. So we watch the balls racked up and a diff has to somehow dig deep to come back. Yes, he's capable. He hasn't performed to his best, but I know one thing, he will not give in.
on behalf of Caterpillar Snooker Federation, if you've just joined us, welcome to Cata Open Nine Ball Championships of 2023. We've had an emotional day in the first match to see the greatest comeback ever on the TV table of this year's tournament. And I'd also like to say thank you very much to everybody who's tuned in. Ali knows one frame, one human error, one in off, one mistake, we're winning the match. And the way he feels right now is completely different to a death. Knowing that he's got to win six in a row to stay in the tournament. It's not a silver break. I'm very honoured to hear from one of the greatest pool players in the world. Pepsi has invented the silver break. And it only happens when all the balls are in the open over the pockets. That way, it's not missable. Or a ball on top of the nine to win the game. Yes, he's played that perfect, a diff. Ali will jump this keep one ball in. He pot it to the corner. He has done this. This is his. He's not the master on the TV table for jump shots. Chang is. He's put in an incredible performance with jump shots today and yesterday. He will be devastated he's lost. But right now, Ali O'Bailey is taking on the one ball to win this match. One ball. Corner pocket. And that's what he does. One of the greatest players with that title. He has the greatest Q player in the country of Qatar. The ranked number one snooker player. The ranked former, I have to say it, Formula One at pool. Formula rank number one pool. I was just thinking we have the Formula One racing on tomorrow. I'm one of the luckiest commentators in the world. Because I'm a volunteer. I do five of the biggest sports in the world. I'm a member of the media team for the World Championship Show Jumping here in Qatar. The World Championships Formula One boats. And one of two people in the world who's a GP inspector. And that's the GP motorcycles. So I do that. I couldn't do it last year because I was doing the World Championship snooker. Because it all crashes around the pool area. But I do put the pool first. To make sure all you fans around the world understand the emotional side of this game. And I've become the first commentator to do the cricket for Kata. And something very special is happening to me next year. I'm one of the luckiest commentators in the world. Are you ready for this? Camel racing. And I'm really excited about that. I've had my rehearsal. I didn't enjoy it because I have to go in a van around about miles and miles of the circuit and watch the camels run around. So I'm really excited about that. But that's in the winter, so I'm looking forward to that. But I always put Caterpillar Federation first because I love to bring you guys live action. So I thoroughly enjoy life. I love bringing you guys 
the emotional side of this game. It is different, my commentary, in this match, because when I know the players, train with the players, they don't need the drama or the emotion. But I know one thing. Mahana O'Bailey, Bansora O'Bailey, and family members are all watching this game. And I would like to say thank you to Mahana, who's the only player ever to play perfect against me in tournaments. But I'm getting stronger, Mahana. And Mansoura as well, my training partner, as we watch a diff take a big sigh. He knows that this frame's slipping away. So I've got a busy year next year, traveling the world. It's the amazing being a volunteer. In the Formula One boats, I sit in a boat out at sea with the flags. I do the checker flag, the red flag. It's a very powerful speedboat we go in. And yes, I don't, I don't, you've got to be well to do it because I do get seasick. And they don't go fast for me, which I'm lucky. Have I been in a Formula One boat? Yes, I have. It terrified me. They said, Paul, would you like to come with me? Booked in. Put all the gear on. Strapped in with the harness. I'll tell you a story true story so the GP motorcycles which I'm an inspector for at the Lucille circuit the brand new safety car was um, a BMW M4 and there I am being the marshal um, Antonio Rossi comes up with his motorbike because all the all the uh, motorcycle People have to get the, the the riders have to come up and meet me. There's only two of us who do it. So they meet me and I have to check their motorbikes. I don't check their equipment, I only check their motorbikes to make sure it's safe and sound to go out on that track. And it's down to me to make sure it is. So it's a big responsibility. And I met Fantinio Rossi, I met all the top motorcyclists. And there we are. And I heard a voice. Paul, come with us. And there it was. The M4 safety car. They took me around the circuit. As I'm filming, they said, don't film. I put it on YouTube. Oh, but it's okay, I took it off because I was so excited. And the driver was my best friend. Unbelievable. True story. And that safety car was incredible. But he slowed down a bit. Because I was a bit nervous. As we watch now, a diff knows that this safety shot has to make it happen. Or he's out of the match. So Qatar have done incredible sports here. And with the World Cup, I was one of the luckiest commentators again. I had tickets to go and see the football. Unbelievable. I didn't do any commentary on the football because I'm not into football. But I went to watch some of the matches. And I thoroughly enjoyed it. And the World Cup was amazing here in Qatar. And everybody had an amazing time. Qatar have got a beautiful train uh, subway. 
as well. So you can get around the country on a train. And with the Formula One racing, my wife's going tomorrow and on Sunday as well. I will miss it this year because there's so much action here in the pool world. But it's amazing to see. Oh, this has gone wrong. Ali didn't mean to push it there. And as you see, he's it coming off the rail. So well done to Team Kata for some of the biggest sports in the world. And don't forget, Qatar have got the Asian Games in 2030. Wherever I am in the world, there's one World Championships I'd love to do. Free cushion billiards. I have played Russian. Uh, no, sorry, I have played Pyramid Snooker. Huh. That's incredible. The ball only just goes in. And you have 15 whites. When you played it, they gave me a, um, a pyramid snooker cue. Uh, a cue. Wow. I was very lucky when I was in Georgia. I went to Russia. Look at this for a jump shot. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the best jump shot on the TV table. Watch this. Never seen this before. Wow. One leg jumping over the eight ball. This, I've never seen this. What contraption's that? Is that some sort of see-through jump, jump cue? Stay tuned. Ladies and gentlemen. What's happening? Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. And he's got safe as well, but that was incredible. I've never seen that before. A diff is a great jump shot there. So thank you very much for listening today. It wasn't an emotional time because two of these players are my training partners and they're incredible people as well. I've known them for coming 13 years. Beautiful shot. But the safety, I'm afraid, for a diff will be behind the two. A diff knows that this match will be hanging on this one ball. But Ali is saying, I'm going to play this safe. And it's won me the frame. But he's got to be careful it doesn't go in. And the way Ali played that is to make sure a diff didn't have the angle to come past the free. Join us after this match. It's not over by any means. So a long way to go. But there is one final match today. Will it be on the TV table? John Mora. Or Joshua Feller. Or the Albert Ocean. We have to wait and see. But in the meantime, Ali needs to run this to win the match and go into the top 32. And on behalf of all the staff, the media team, the, cra uh, the camera crew, we've done our best to bring you this incredible show. And I've thoroughly enjoyed every shot and every minute of this incredible show and I say thank you to everybody around the world who's tuned in unbelievable 
he didn't come far enough. So there's still life in this game. I wish to say thank you very much to Khalid from Kuwait for the first time in breaking history here in Qatar. Arabic and English commentator working together to make the Arabic world see a bit of emotion in the pool world. So that was beautiful yesterday, working with Khalid. Such an amazing character from Kuwait. Well, I feel that there's lots of noise going on in the arena. And I feel that everybody's waiting for the top 32 to start. When I thoroughly enjoyed being here as a volunteer who puts the passion into nine ball. I've won many titles around the Middle East and I give back the passion in this game. I don't often talk about players but I'm hoping to play hopefully next year. I have played Efren, one of the icons of the world of pool. Keith McCory. And what a beautiful shot that is. Incredible. They take this to the middle. But you never know. I do travel the world. Who I play. I've been invited from Stephen Lin to travel to China, Singapore, to meet players as well, to go with the Kata team and travel all over the world. And for a volunteer, what an amazing opportunity. As we say goodbye to this game, Ali Bailey has qualified for the top 32. And I can guarantee a diff will be so happy to see his fellow countryman go through. I guarantee it because we all respect each other. We are all brothers in the pool world. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner for the top 32 is Ali O'Bailey. He's hesitating here, but it's a formality. He's looking to take the nine into the left corner. A screw back to the same pocket as the eight. It's a formality. Let's see what he does. But I can assure you one thing. Team Cata have put on an incredible performance to get into the top 32 from all of us thank you very very much and i hope you enjoyed some of my stories as well i've got plenty of more i can assure you so join me next time who will be in the top 16 bye bye
an epic battle between Qatar and welcome your top 32 player it's been a difficult match to commentate on as you might have heard the commentary both of these players I've trained with over 12 years here in Qatar it gives me great honor to introduce to you Ali O'Bailey thank you Ali it's been very difficult for me to do the commentary yeah. because I've got two of the greatest training partners in my life over yeah. 12 years of training with you. It wasn't easy to play. Uh, my teammate, uh, he, he, as you can see, I didn't, I didn't perform even because I'm just, I'm still upset from inside that the draw came out like this, but we had to play. So uh, hopefully I play better in the next match and uh, can't wait to play in the next match. Yeah. How do you feel? about the now you're in the top 32 yeah how how did you get there well um i won my matches yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but what i mean is the brake system how have you adapted to the brake um i like the brake system it's it's really fun it's different than what, what we are used to so um, i'm enjoying it and it's uh, it's really nice do you feel when when you look at Qatar billiard federation you are crowned as the greatest billiard player in oh. the country. Number one at snooker, Formula number one at pool. Yeah. How do you feel about Qatar putting you where you are at um, the top and the highest level in the country? Yeah, I'm happy to be there. I mean, um, I still have so so many tournaments to play and. Uh, way further to go in tournaments, so hopefully uh, I, get th I get something back for my country and thank them on that, and to thank you, Percy. Thank you. Training partners? Yeah, yeah, sure. Training partners. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you. give it up for Kata. Thank you. Top 32 player, Ali O'Bailey. Join us very shortly for the next TV game, and what a match we have for you.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Qatar Nine Ball Open Championships of 2023. From Iran, Amir Ali. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Qatar Nine Ball Open Championships of 2023. I'm joined with Victor from Poland. Victor, congratulations on getting through to the top 32. This is your moment. You're ranked number one in the world. How do you feel? Oh, yeah, feeling amazing. Uh, I will try my best to get as far as possible. Uh, we'll see. Do you feel this is your time? Yeah, yeah, always I think it's my time, but, you know, I have to prove that uh, with the balls on the table, that I'm, I could be there. Well, I'm very grateful that I've already commentated on your game. I know what you're capable of doing. And on behalf of Qatar Billiard Federation, we wish you all the best. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to watch one of the best matches to come. You can't ask for anything more than these two young men battling out to be who will be in the top 32 in the championships. Amir has put in the performance of his life to be in the top 32. Who will go through to the top 16? He is up against the greatest pool player on the planet. He comes in as the world's number one from Poland, Victor Dzaski. If I can't pronounce it right, I'm very sorry. But I try. Now, I've spoken to him just now. He, I know how he plays as well. The TV table, for me, he's going to be a perfectionist. I have got breaking news for you. It's the biggest news in the tournament. Coach. Amir Rota from the Philippines has beaten Coping Ng. Unbelievable performance. He missed one ball in the host set. And Amir has qualified for the top 32. And I've just seen his opponent. And I'll tell you what, it's going to be close. Michael Giorgio is still in the tournament. Ali O'Bailey is in the top 32. We are all witnessing history-breaking tournament for the local players here in Qatar. Michael Giorgio has won a staggering... Hang on a second, hang on a second. Are we are already in the emotional side of this game. And the answer is, yes we are. Join us as we grab our tickets for the roller coaster ride in game number one. Where's the nine ball? Now, let's see what Amir can do. He's achieved so much so far in this tournament. 
Have I seen him play? He's watched me play. He watched me get to the hill. Hill. We need to watch the nine ball go in. It's okay. I'll come back stronger next year. I'll be in Saudi Arabia next year as well. I'm very lucky I'll get an invite to the Saudi Arabia Open. And that's what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen. The players are playing completely different on this table. This is the last session. And after this match, I would like to say thank you very much to everyone around the world who's joined us. And always remember, this game is an emotional roller coaster ride when you want to win a tournament. Playing, taking part in the tournament, not a problem. But to win it, only one person out of 256 players in the tournament who took part, there's only one winner. I was asked a question today, and I'll tell you the question from Agius Bagger Lion. Who do I feel who's going to be in the final? I've gone in for Alex in the final versus... I'll win Ocean. But I don't know the outcome. I don't know what the draw is. I don't watch the draw. But wouldn't that be a good final? But you never know. Ali O'Bailey's in the top 32. Amir's in the top 32. Michael Giorgio is in the top 32. They've played well to be there. But I know one thing. Kuping Ning is out of the tournament. Ralph Suke is out. Tostin Homan is out. But what about Joshua Filler? Still in. He's playing as we speak. I wonder if we can look at the camera and show all of the pool hall. Are you ready? Oh, we haven't got the camera set up for that one. When we see the whole pool room. Are you ready? See if we can get there. There it is. Michael Giorgio takes the first frame over on that table. Amir Rotter, one table up, sitting there. Ali O'Bailey on the second table. So, it's going to be emotional for all the team. This is the top 32. So we're going to show you different camera angles. Thank you very much for that. So we're back now to frame number two. Amir Ali will break two times in a row. And there is one of the greatest gentlemen I've ever met in my life. Ehab. An amazing character. An amazing man. Who has helped put the Qatar Billiard Federation here on this tournament. He has worked hours and hours to make this tournament happen a member of the team Ehab thank you so much for making this happen around the world you know, he's a great snooker player as well what a shot that is beautiful now I have, Amir was watching me play and thank you very much for his comments I did five run outs in a row only to get to Hill Hill and lose on the nine ball from the break and apparently so far in the tournament it's the only nine ball oh it's one of three apparently For Iraq, Amir Ali for Iraq, ladies and gentlemen, I apologise. It's been a long day. 
here doing the commentary. This is the last match. I will go home and get some rest because I'll be so excited tomorrow. It's the top 16 tomorrow and the quarterfinals. And then we will be treated to the semi finals and the final. Who will be crowned Qatar Open Nine Ball Championships of 2023 and walk away with 50,000 US dollars and congratulations to all the staff but butter doing all the photographs Abdullah as well doing all the film editing these all of us have put hundreds of hours in this week and I love doing the commentary just love it to bring you the emotional side of the nine ball world but I can assure you this run out for Amir Ali is a dream to go one apiece against the world's number one pool player And a round of applause there. The fans are in. Not too sure what happened there, but I can assure you the referees are incredible. They've put a lot of effort in to support the Billiard Federation. Tara, who's refereeing this match, has been my friend. For 13, well, coming up to 13 years, and one of my training partners as well. He didn't play in the tournament. He, he is the referee, and he's done a fantastic job all the way through the tournament. And there's Ehab, amazing gentleman. I'm, I'm, I'm very fortunate to be a part of the. The team. Is it a silver break? I'm afraid it's not. We will see a silver break shortly, hopefully. We haven't really, I think we had one silver break. And a silver break is when every ball is over the pocket and in a no way position, you can miss it. But there is lots of traffic here to take the balls into the pockets. But this two ball, does it go past the nine? Amir will take this on. And Victor will be looking on. And what a beautiful shot that is. So Victor... He's under tremendous pressure already because the brake system, what I've learned, helps the player in front. But we never saw that today. Elbin Ocean was on 7 4 deficit as he did the impossible comeback to win 6 seven frames in a row to come well not in a row maybe six in a row to come back to win 11 10. 
So it'd be fair to say he won a staggering seven frames. That goes to show one of the greatest pool players in the world. Dig in so deep. He went through an emotional barrier on the roller coaster. And all his family were watching. I spoke to him after the game. And he said, even in the interview, when I interviewed him, how did you do it? And the answer was, I don't know. Well, I'll tell you, Elvin, how you did it. You didn't want to let your country down. You didn't want to let your family down. You didn't want to let your fans down. You showed the world. One of the greatest comebacks in the tournament. Will it go down as one of the greatest tournament comebacks of all time? Stay tuned. Anything can happen in the nine ball world. Now, an Amir, I have seen him play. I was watching him during the week. For me, he is off to a dream start. And will that push him to the finishing line? Believing in yourself? Understanding this situation you're in? And the answer is, yes it will. Because the two ball is in the open. Okay, the four ball is the key. But I know that this young man who's the world's number one, Victor, is putting himself under pressure. Look at the focus from Amir Ali. Unbelievable focus. But has he got the energy to battle through? They've been playing since one o'clock. And they've non-stop played. Let's have a look at the time. One, two, three, four, five hours of non-stop action. By the way, I like his t-shirt. Eye of the Tiger. What a beautiful t-shirt that is. I've seen something, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, look at that t-shirt. Beautiful. I have seen an incredible young man put in the performance of his life so far to take frame number two. And I'm really going, we're all together here on this one. We're witnessing something incredible. The world's number one can only look on as whoever loses will fly home. But right now, the eye of the tiger has got the eight to the nine for a two one lead. He has played perfect pool so far. The best player I've seen is out of the tournament now. Chang who put in a staggering seven runouts. And all of a sudden, the crowd are willing this young man on to take on the greatest pool player, ranked number one in the world. Victor Sazasti, who's put in an amazing performance. Apologize if I got his name wrong, but I'm doing my best to make sure that you guys will go through the emotional ride what I do. The nine ball world is so emotional. When I picked, I'll tell you a quick story. When I picked 
uh, Mika Eminen and John Moore from the airport, I asked him a question. What's it like being a pool player on the road? They said, Pepsi, carry on doing what you're doing. Enjoy life. Because for us, it's never ending. Living in hotels. Nine to ten months a year. Stay as you are. Happy. And enjoy life. And I really thought about that. And I'm going to take their advice. And enjoy life. I am in Saudi Arabia next year. I've been invited to their nine ball tournament. I've been invited to China for their eight ball tournament. And the most important thing is, ladies and gentlemen, people recognize for what you put in to the game. And always remember, I never ask for anything. But there you go. Now, if the world's number one pool player in front of us is struggling, that says to me one thing. He's under pressure. Has he had a tough day today? And the answer is yes. Did he have a tough day yesterday? The answer is yes. Now we put the cube on the sixth. Uh, that's not a problem. Has he taken this two ball into the corner? This is the best attacking pool player I have seen on the TV table. We are witnessing, all of us, one of the greatest attackers on the TV table. Incredible scenes. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned. I think we are going to witness something incredible. I feel it. The biggest, well, they're at the biggest upsets already done. Kopini is out of the tournament by a mere rotter. He will be devastated to see that happen. I have news for you. Yeah, okay, so he has to draw back here. He's the, the reason why he's taking his time, because he's thinking, well, do I take this six ball into the same pocket as the five? Yes, he does. Where's the white? Where's the white? Where's the white? Where's the white? Where's the... <sighs> he cannot breathe. I promise you, ladies and gentlemen. He cannot believe how that cue ball has picked up speed well the AC's on I have to I'm wearing a hoodie so I'm gonna have to put my hoodie on because we're starting to freeze here so it's going to affect the table now you want pressure to take a 3-1 lead welcome Amir Ali to the seven ball. Now I potted one of these. You've got to stay still and don't move on your cue action. And it will go in and the feeling you get when you pot this seven ball is a frame winning opportunity. He's doing the right shot. He's got to hit it firm with top spin. Beautiful. Well done Ali. I do stay biased, I always have done was one of the hardest matches I've ever commentated on when Ali plays my training partner at death. What I will take away from this match, uh, the, sorry, what I will take away from this tournament, 
I beat one of the ranked number one players in the Middle East. 7-6. Being 6-4 down. I'll come back stronger next year. I'm going to be working harder than ever. And I mean ever before. Because I know what the ability I can give to the game. But right now, this nine ball to the corner for three one. Ladies and gentlemen, we are witnessing the eye of the tiger. Amir Ali. I love his t-shirt. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, to the fans around the world, the easy ones are the hardest shots to pop on the TV table. Unbelievable miss. For, did that cost him the match? Did that cost him the lead? The world number one goes to the table, makes the nine, knowing that he should have been a staggering 3-1 down. Will Amir Ali recover? I don't know. But he's the eye of the tiger. Stay tuned. But I've always said. The easy ones are the hardest ones to, to pop. And I would like to say thank you very much to Ian Anderson this morning. And the WPA, thank you very much for their support. How nice they were to me. And Caterpillar Federation as well, thank you very much. I love doing the commentary. And always remember, the commentary is different. I don't talk about what players win. I only talk about in the moment the present because that's what we bring to the table sometimes I feel what the players feel for you but right now the one ball going in it's going to be a difficult two this isn't a silver break and uh, we, we, I hope to see a silver break. It's a beautiful, beautiful break when it's a silver one. And what I mean by that, all the balls are over the pocket. Can't miss. The nine ball has got a combination to the pocket. Can't miss. But when you have a break like this, it's not easy. Victor will go to the table knowing that he will take the lead. And a possible 4-2 lead. Knowing that Amir Ali missed a formality 9. So stay with us. We're going to enjoy this match. Victor was tapping on the table like a car trying to stop the car. Unfortunately, the brakes didn't work. And the cue balls ran away. And the support in the crowd is building up for Amir Ali. Lovely person. Yeah. Victor knows that the nine his opponent missed put him back in this game
Nine to the corner. Now, Victor will break here. Or, I apologise, Ali breaks. If Ali's breaking, that will mean that he has two breaks in a row. Now, we learnt something today, something very special. When it goes to Hill Hill, we're at 10 apiece. You have to win by two, plus, you have to win by winning the roll up. You can A, put your opponent back in. B, play your shot on the break. So concentrate on this one ball. Know where it is, forget the two, the two is gone. It's the one. Amir Ali has to somehow magic the one up the top of the table. Is that perfect? We're perfect. It's not a silver break, but it's perfect setup layout. John Moore has qualified for the top 32. Amir Rotter is still in the tournament. He's in the top 32. Because the reality is, Michael Giorgio is still there. Kata Snooker Billiard Federation coach for snooker. Ali O'Bailey is still there for Team Qatar. And Amir Arata, the coach for Poole, has put in a brilliant performance to stay in the tournament. But Amir Ali has got this beautiful six ball. If we look at camera four, see how tight that pocket is. He has to be perfect because the rails sit in the pocket. I don't know how they designed the pocket to sit with the rail. I don't know. But the rail sits in the pocket. Look at the focus. Look at the determination. The eye of the tiger is putting in an incredible performance, but he can't afford to miss the nine. He's already missed the nine. Mm -hmm. To be fair, if he looks back at this, he will say to himself, I moved my cue action slightly. Look at the presentation on the nine, that's better. He's using a snooker bridge. Well done. I wonder if he has a snooker background. Mm. Let's quickly look at the other camera out in the arena, the arena camera. While they're racking the balls, just trying to show you something. And we are there on the second table. Is Ali playing Open Ocean? So I saw Ali playing on the second table. Michael Giorgio was on the first table. Against one of the greatest players in the world. Mika Eminem. Is that Mika Eminem? Bit hard to work out. But John Mora. Where's John? Oh, John's at the furthest table. Well, we're going back to the main event. 
stay with us. Wasn't that beautiful to see the arena of the other pool tables, the outside arena? I was asked a question today by one of the spectators. The lady said, why has that table got cameras and all the others haven't? I said, that's the TV table. We're live around the world. I thought that was really nice that new people are coming to watch pool. It's beautiful to see such a beautiful atmosphere for Kata. Now this Womble. Is he leaving the cue ball? But Amir Ali, because he's the eye of the tiger, he would like to attack. He's only missed one ball to be free each. And he should have been four, one, up. Will that play on his mind? Beautiful shot. That is so difficult. Victor will go to the table knowing he's going to jump this. This is a great jump shot. And congratulations to Caterpillar Snooker Federation. Once again, putting on an amazing show. This is our last TV appearance today. But wait a minute. Wait a minute. I have just seen something. Did you see what I just seen? It's best of 21. Where's the white? Unbelievable jump shot, but the white's gone. <coughs> but I've just seen something. It's a race to 21. We're going to be here until 10 o'clock. What time is it now? Half past eight. Sorry, half past six. We're going to be here for a long time. And I'm so excited. So you watch the two ball. So if it's best of 21, bear with me. That must mean it's race to 11. This is the longest match frame we're going to see on the TV table so far. I didn't know it was best of 21. So, how are we going to deal with this? We're all on an emotional ride in the game already. You've been playing since 1 o'clock this afternoon. The world's number one is looking tired. He's looking drained. How can he cope? And the answer is because he's the world's number one. He's been here. He's done it all. But look at Amir Ali. Yes, he's tired. They've both been doing the same. So the answer is, who will become more stronger at the finishing line? We're just going to have to wait and see. I spoke to the Polish coach, amazing character, amazing person. They're lovely people, all of Poland. But Ali, look at camera four. Missable. He's taken it to the middle. Or is he taking... I'm not too sure which way he's going. That is the best shot I've seen on the TV table so far. He's played that beautiful... He wanted to come a fraction higher. 
Because of the AC being on, the tables all of a sudden slowed down. Thank you, Amir, for showing me where you want the cue ball. And he's showing you guys as well. But he's put in an amazing performance already to be here. He's got all his fans here, so his teams here, and all of his country is watching. Beautiful shot. The feeling you get when you play a shot like that. But, however, we've seen him miss this nine ball. But will he miss it this time? No, he doesn't. Takes the lead of four three. Now, let's have a look at the camera for you. Let's take the camera to the arena. Come on, guys, let's go and have a look at the arena. The arena camera. Let's have a look. I like this is my favourite camera. Michael Giorgio on the table one. There he is. Amir Rotter. There's Joshua Filler. Oh, that's good news. I'm looking for Costa. I I see John Moore on the at the far end. Is that Mika Eminen? I see one player with his eyes covered. They've all been an emotional ride. Is that Costa from Russia? Still in the tournament. Let's go back to the game. Stay with us. We have got a beautiful camera crew. We have. Yes, we had technical issues in the beginning. But right now we are back together. We are like a Formula One team. The wheels are on that car. And we are going to the finishing line in two days. So stay with us. I just hope we don't run out of petrol. Now, two to the corner. Come around for the three. This is not a silver break by any means. When we see a silver break, we, I will let you know. I've only ever seen three of them in this tournament on the TV table. They're beautiful. They really are. What's happened? Wow, well, good fortune there from Victor. Now, Nine Ball. Let me just give you a bit of insight about Nine Ball. Yes, the film Colour of Money took us to another level, took us to another journey. I was in Canada because of my training with John Moore. I saw a bar table. I've never seen a bar table before. A bar table, pool table. It was like half the size of this table. And I thought, how small that is. And what I'm explaining is that a lot of tournaments have different tables. Well, I tell you what, Victor, the world's number one pool player, has not performed anywhere near his best. And there's a reason for that. Fatigue. He is getting mentally drained of putting in a performance from one o'clock till right now. He's not feeling comfortable. He's drinking water because he's getting drained out there. Who will survive in this match? We all have to stay tuned as we watch the... What a shot. Now, why is that a great shot? Because the six is tied up with the seven. That's why it's a great shot. Did he play that? Absolutely. Because he knows that that's the reinsurance for this match. It's that six and seven to go to five three. That's why he's the world's number one. He can pot them from anywhere. How does he get... Oh, i see seen what he's going to do. He's going to put the cue ball in behind the six. Yeah, 
Thank you, Victor, for showing me where you're going. He shows all of us, which is nice. Now, he's taking his extension out. I do this because I have my extension on my queue. It reflects the balance of the queue. Because you're tight on the rail. And there it is. There it is. Ladies and gentlemen, how many times have I said the easy ones are the hardest shots to pop? And Victor, the world's number one, has missed an easy opportunity as Amir. Oh, I see what Amir's doing. Are you ready? He's going to go across the table and open the six and the seven up. What a shot this is. I love his t-shirt. Now, there's a danger to this. He could miss it, and that's why he's hesitating. He's overstretching. He's not worried about the pot. The pot's in. Don't worry about that. Where is the cue ball going? It's uncontrollable speed. Does he really want to take this on? And the answer is yes. He's missed it. Unbelievable miss. Now, the world's number one. We'll take this on to move the six and the seven. Now, where he's going to put it safe is hide the cube behind the seven. Thank you, Victor. Wait a minute. The world's number one is taking the plant on. What a shot that is. Remember, the world's number one pool player has been there and done it. Is he the greatest pool player in the world? With that world ranking? Absolutely. Every pool player in the world wants to be the number one in the world. Look at the score. It's four apiece. Victor will break. And it will all depend on the break from Victor. Whether he takes the lead, or he gives the lead to Amir with two breaks in a row. And I do feel we are going on a roller coaster to the hill together. So to both play, I do, I, I do like his t-shirt. The Eye of the Tiger is my favourite. From now on, I feel every frame is crucial. So the eight's going in the right corner. We don't need to talk about the wing ball. We don't. We, that's gone because I'll give everybody a headache for that one. It's the one ball we got to watch. Where's the one? Where's the one? Where's the one? Perfect. Ah, he snookered himself. Now, why did he snook? Yeah, he's asking himself, why did I snook at myself? And the answer is this. Misfortune played a part. We will all experience misfortune in this game. It comes when you really want to win. You're representing your country. You want to be in the top 16 in the world. You want to stay in the tournament to get the 50,000 US dollars. But right now, Victor has got to somehow push safe and I don't think there's a safety shot on. I really don't. 
I don't know if you guys can see it. So what Victor's doing, because he's the world's number one, he's going to push a ball safe. Well, which ball do you push safe? It's the two. Very clever shot. But wait a minute. I don't think you can come across the table. Do you put the world's number one pool player back in and say, for me, Amir Ali, the eye of the tiger, would take this on, knowing that he's got a chance to win the frame with two breaks in hand. That's why he's taking his time. He's going for it. He's got to put so much top spin on this. There it is. But beautiful, ladies and gentlemen. For me, that is incredible. He did apologize to his opponent, so it just goes to show Amir is a gentleman of the game. Well done, Amir. If I get a fluke, I apologize. He doesn't wind the player up at all. That's what I don't do. I say I'm sorry that I got good fortune. And good fortune comes because the hundreds of what's going on unbelievable we have witnessed an unbelievable shot the world's number one not only got out the snooker but he potted it unbelievable now is there a key ball i'm going to try and give it to you are you ready it's the four ball But he's missed it. He's missed it. The world's number one pool player is missing formality shots in the middle pocket. Now Amir goes to the table knowing he's got the angle to move the four ball. Oh, I apologise. Got excited there. Because that's the five. The three is up the top of the table. Sorry about that. So how's he going to get? How's, how's he going to get to the, the four ball? Um, I have seen something. Are you ready? Combination onto the nine in the middle on the right hand middle. Victor can't believe he's going through the emotional ride of the nine ball game. Well played, Amir. What a beautiful shot that is because he's going to draw the cue ball back in such a way he's going to leave a safety available. But has he seen the combination onto the five in the corner? Or has he seen my nine ball in the middle? Ladies and gentlemen, thank you, Victor uh, Amir. He has just shown us where he's going. He's going to go in to the cluster. This is one of my favourite shots. I do this in training. No rails. Reverse side on the cue ball in a straight line. Ready? There it is. There it is. Has he got the luck? No. But he's showing his opponent... He's attacking the game. Victor cannot afford to lose this game. Where is he going with the cue ball? Can he see it? Amir knows that he has to somehow get this safe. But where? Can you see it? No, that's not the right shot. Because when I played a shot like that on the TV table, the cue ball did not grip whatsoever. And it just 
Skid it away. Yeah. He's looking at putting the four up to the seven. But I don't see it. Amir's going to jump the ball. This will be the TV table. Incredible. I've seen already some amazing jump shots. For, for me right now, this will be the most incredible jump shot I've seen if it goes in. It's got to go in for it to happen. Look at that. Now, something's happened there. He's thinking, well... I don't want to take it on, it's too hard. That's the right way, Amir. Come off the bottom rail and come from behind. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, he's going to pot it in the middle pocket. Or is he? But going back to where he's gone, where is he going with the power? Can you see something I can't see, Amir? Let's see. Ladies and gentlemen, what a fantastic shot. Yes, he is disappointed because he's left a fraction of it, but it's not in the open. It's very difficult to pop. The world's number one is looking to pop the four to the corner. Hold for the five. But this is missable. Where's the white? Where's the white? Wow. Now. We are witnessing human error. And the frustration on this shot. Wow. Unbelievable. This is why he's the world's number one. He played that shot. He just got down and played it. Sometimes that's the right way. But right now, this six ball for the world's number one pool player. is missable but he's got it but the hand shows me the frustration that he can't get back for the nine to dig down on the cue ball to bring it back for the nine this has to be down in one of the base shots well done. But he's left a long nine. And he's taking it in to a 4.2 inch pocket. Will he get it? Stay tuned. <gasps> wow. What a shot. Now Amir will go to the table. Because he will have a break. Let's have a look at the arena ca camera while well, they're racking up the balls I want to give you guys what life's about being a professional pool player Michael Giorgio on the nine ball where's Amir Amir where is Amir Joshua Feller on the left there's Ali he's playing Elvin Ocean there's Amir going back to the table. I don't know what, I don't, my phone's not on because I've had the fantastic support from everyone. So I don't read any of the comments. I don't read any of that. Because if, you, if you're if you not happy with the commentary, always remember, I was watching Chinese 8 ball and I couldn't understand. I just turned the mute off and I thoroughly enjoyed it. So we're going to go back to the game. Michael Georgie was in a break... So 
Sorry, we're, stay with me. Our camera crew are doing our best. Now, Amir somehow has to win this frame. There's no ifs or buts. He has to run the table. Where's the one ball? It's... Two's gone. Is this a silver break? No. Because he can't pot the white... Uh, the one ball. But he's almost close to it. Even if the one ball was potted, it's not a silver break. A silver break is when everything is over the pockets. Well, as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, the safety shot there. Remember, the silver break, we haven't seen one today. Such a shame. Because I would like to show you the silver break. It's something I came up with. There's a golden break. I came up with this idea of a silver break. It's the next best thing. So there has to be a connection onto the nine straight away to make the nine go in. And every ball is over the pocket and you can't miss. I think we almost had a silver break with Alvin Ocean's game. So when we, we will witness all together a silver break and you understand what that means. Something new I brought into the game of Nine Ball. It's all about understanding the emotional side of the game. Yeah, the world's number one pool player, Victor Zanuski. I apologize if I haven't pronounced it right. I do try. I've been practicing very hard. With the names. Victor's just, yeah, the moisture's changed out on the table. He's used a bit of powder for his cue. Now. Wow. Is he leaving the cue ball in behind the nine? Does it go through the gap? No, it doesn't go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to part two of the bronze game. Welcome. The first bronze game of the tournament. The one on the nine is the bronze game. Wait a minute. It may not be. It's over the pocket. So yes, it is a bronze shot to win the game. Nine to the mere corner pocket. Beautiful. Beautiful. Well done. Five apiece. The golden break. I don't know who did that one. Who designed the golden break? But I know who designed the silver break. And that's me. Because I'm a great believer. In making. The difference. In nine ball. 
We've seen the emotional side. We've seen the drama side. They call it lady luck. I call it good fortune and misfortune. And you make your own luck in this game. It's you who played the shot, not your opponent. The harder you train, the luckier you get. It's always the same. It's like the Formula One cars. They go around and around and they run out of petrol. You just got to make sure you've got enough fuel in the tank to get through this match. Both players have been playing for hours on end. Now. Is there a trouble ball? Not really. You've got to see if you can hold your nerve. For me, out of the two players, Amir who's missed the nine ball. Is the more consistent player. And why do I say that? And that's the... Oh, it, perfect. He's okay. Because he's only missed one ball. The world's number one has missed a few times. But Amir knows that this one ball to the two has to be perfect. Will he get it? Stay tuned. Amir holds the record as the fastest interview I've ever had. Yes, he doesn't speak much English. He just says thank you. And that means more than anything in an interview. Because he shows his appreciation of being here. So the eye of the tiger. The two to the corner. Come around for the four. And this, ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching and joining us for the Eye of the Tiger match, you are treated to a thriller of a game. Like I said, Amir is the most consistent player in this match. Victor can only look on. Knowing that Amir has only missed one ball. A four manatee nine to go four one up. Now it's five apiece. Where? Now the seven. Okay. The seven will go to the top corner. So he needs the angle to come around. And he's going to use the eight as a marker. This is what I would do. Yeah, that's perfect. 100% perfect. He's okay, because he's got two choices, avoid the nine, or create an angle and come across. He's just got to be careful. So he's got one, number one option, screw the cue ball back, miss the nine, or even hold on to the nine, he's still on the seven, it's okay. Option two, a break shot on the six, to hit the rail and come across. But I feel this is the best option. Top spin. Straight around. Oh, he's going for the... Where's he going? Oh, he's going the break shot. He's going to go do, do the break shot. Watch this. Watch the cue ball arc off the rail. Beautiful camera angle. That's what I'm afraid of, ladies and gentlemen. You hit them too hard. They won't go in. The easy one. Wasn't that easy? But he will know that he hit it too hard. Will that cost him the game? We're just going to have to wait and see. But Victor coming to the table, knowing that this is a frame winner. He's come perfect. But it's not. Look at the calmness. Amazing.
Okay. He's not showing much emotion because he knows at five each he's still in the game. We got an hour to go. Grab yourself a cup of coffee, grab yourself a cup of tea. For me, I've got my popcorn. Ladies and gentlemen, unbelievable. As we watch now, thank you, Amir, for showing me where you want the ball. He wants it just below, just high enough from the middle pocket. Perfect. That is perfect. Victor is saying to himself, that's another frame I've given. How can this emotional roller coaster ride stop and get me to the finishing line? And the answer is consistency will pull you through. Now, the reason why he's came off this, somebody's moved in the way. Something's happened. It wouldn't be the camera player. Uh, man, I know that because nobody's. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now, this nine ball for the lead. The eye of the tiger. He's done it. And all of a sudden, the crowd are applauding. This young man, Amir Ali, has put in a performance of his life. He is 6-5 up. Victor, with his break cue, is indicating to me he will have two breaks in a row. He hasn't performed anywhere near anywhere near his best and there's a reason for that he's been playing since one o'clock and they were on a staggering one two three four five six seven seven hours of non-stop action Where's the cue ball? Is that a dry break? Oh, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the first dry break in this match. Amir Ali comes to the table knowing if he takes this frame, he will be 7-5 up with Victor with one more break only. And if he should win that game, Amir will win the match because his consistency, he will have two breaks in a row. But he hasn't come far enough. He will be disappointed with that shot. He wanted another turn, maybe half a turn okay, but a full turn would have been perfect. Now, he has to avoid the in-off to the middle pocket. He's looking at it. Stay with us, ladies and gentlemen. This is pressure. Oh, he's used the four as a marker. Well played. What's the four? Perfect. Oh, is, did you see what he did there? He willed the power in his body to move the white. But he's used a uh, four ball perfect. Because he's going to take it to the middle. So. Always remember, when you do a run out, it's not the balls in the open, you, you work it out. You work it out. Beautiful, absolute beautiful. 
we are watching a master, Amir, playing the world's number one. The eye of the tiger is in the house. Unbelievable. Four to the corner. Five to the same pocket. Yeah. No. The reason why he's hesitating, because he can't afford to hit it too hard. So he's just floating the four ball. Watch how he does it. Beautiful. That's the best shot he's played in this match. Because he floated the cue ball. And what I mean by that, you've got to have beyond confidence in your game. That's number one. Number two, you've got to believe in yourself. Number three is the secret. Stay calm, knowing this five ball can win the frame. Beautiful. But let's look at camera four. Let's... Camera four. Can we just stay here for a minute? Now, what Amir Al has got to do, don't hit the corner, don't hit the jaws. Be careful, because this is missable. He's done it. I have seen the top players in the world miss this tap shot. But right now, Amir Ali will take, thank you Ali, he will take the four ball a uh, seven around the table with the cue ball to take the eight in the same pocket watch how he does it oh he's going to use top spin has it gone far enough the table speeded up it's dried out there the ac is off this shot a mirror for seven five Nine ball. Two frames away from the hill. And he breaks, I believe. Not 100% sure. But will that go in his favour? Amir, well, you're going to have to... Well, why don't we stay here? Instead of running for a break, let's stay. Let's all stay together. Let's have a look at the arena camera. Come on, guys. Let's go to the arena camera. Camera crew. Arena camera, please. Because it's on a break. I want to stay with you guys. Right. Ladies and gentlemen. Michael Giorgio. Is. Cue ball in hand. He's on the nine. Amir Rotter. Is on a run out. Michael Giorgio takes the nine to the corner. I have to stay biased. But my training partner. Michael Giorgio. You've put in a performance of your life. Amir Rotter is my master. And he is talking out, coping in. Incredible. Where's Joshua Feller? Oh, the game's ended. I don't know who's won. John Mora in the background. There he is with the white sleeves to the end of the table. Where's Alex Pagalion? Where's Alex? Is that Mika Eminen in the middle? What's happening? Amir's on the five. He's potted it. Now he's on the six. Two tables up. Stay with us, guys. Amir Rotter. Six ball to the corner. Hode for the seven. Freeze for the nine. And Ali. He's got the cue ball in hand. It's all happening. I don't think I can cope with the emotion. We're witnessing game after game. Michael Giorgio breaks. This is fantastic. I'm commentating on nearly every game on the table. Wait a minute. Michael Giorgio. He breaks. I'll tell you if it's a good one. If I can see. Amir is on the seven to the nine. Where's John Moore? John Moore is on the nine ball. I, 
have to stay biased. Ali's on a run out. John's on the nine. He's potted it. So the eyes of the tiger are running around in the arena. Where's Ali? He's okay. Ali's okay. Where's Amir? There's Amir with a nine. He's done it. Where's Michael Giorgio? Well, okay, we, we can come away from that game. Because he's got to tie up a ball. John Morris sits down. Knowing that he's got the break. Ali's on the five ball. The table up from the left. Oh, he's not. He's on the one. I need glasses. So I wonder who won out of Joshua Feller. I don't know any of so it's because my phone's... Oh, there's a game ended over there. Oi! Did Oi Oi win? Is that Oi? I don't know. So Ali is on the second table up on the left. Nicely done. Takes the five. Hotes. I can't see what colours it is, I'm sorry, but... Okay, we're coming back to the game. Uh, I really enjoyed commentating on all those tables. Hard to do, you know. Seven or eight tables to commentate on. Now. The world's number one has to... No, was there no ifs, no buts. He has to win this round to stay in the tournament. We're on a long way to go, but right now, he has to somehow win every game to stay, keep going up to that finishing line. There's no silver break, I'm afraid. Now, the one is the safety. But where's the white con? Wow, he's left the door open, I'm afraid. Now, I've seen a shot. I love commentating on the greatest players in the world because I'm starting to see things. And this will help my game. Right. Can he get past the seven? I think he can. But he's looking that kept putting the cue ball down around the two area or the nine area. So what you've got to do is look for a marker. I played one player once. He used the chalk as the marker to hit. I only worked it out after the match. Because every time he did it, the cue ball hit that chalk. But the cue ball... Well, he will be happy with that. But I think... Can he pop the one? It's so difficult. The world's number one pool player from Poland, Victor, one to the corner with the safety. He's gone for the safety. Wow! It just sneaked out from the five. Surely, ladies and gentlemen, the eye of the tiger. Look, thank you very much. He's showing us where he wants the white to go. And he's going to put the white behind the five. Oh, sorry, he's going to put the one behind the five. And Victor can only look on. This match is slipping away. But has he done it? Has he done it? Has he done it? Yes, he has. Victor is a great jump shot player. And when you're playing the world's number one... Wow. He's looking tired. Both players have been playing since one o'clock. They are great players. The world's number one. 
has got to make this jump shot happen. Let's see what happens. One ball. Corner pocket. He's knocked on the door. But where does it land? Amir Ali has only missed one ball in the whole match. So far. Ali's looking at leaving. Take, well, I see what he's done. He's going to do. He's going to take the cut onto the corner. Swing the cue ball around to the six. This is what the eye of the tiger can do. But it's hit the jaw. But that would have sneaked up behind the free. But does that cue ball take the one to the corner and come around the traffic? So, Amir will go down. As ball number two missed, because he did go for it. We have to count that. But unfortunate to hit the knuckle as Victor takes the one to the corner. Where's the white? Just slowed down enough. Victor knows that this clearance has to run out. No ifs, no buts. Four ball to the five. The pressure on this young man as the world's number one. Everybody wants his title. And always remember, in any sport, when you're the best in the world, you've got the world against you. Because they all want to be there. In any sport, it's hard to dominate. Can't win all the time. When you're in these stages of knockout stages, if you don't perform as the world's number one, you lose. Nine to the corner for seven, six. But don't worry, ladies and gentlemen, because I feel Amir has two breaks in a row. And if that's the case, I'm not too sure. Bear with me. He's getting closer to that 10. He needs. Now, I've just seen Amir for the first time in the whole match. Knowing that he's missed that one ball. Now he's realised he's got two breaks in a row to get to nine. Can he do it? We're in the top 16 and the quarterfinals. There's Abdullah, the head of the media team. Just one of the most amazing people in the media team. We're not on a silver break. Too many balls tied up. One ball. Yes. He's take if you look at the diamond system, how to use the cue ball. That's beautiful. So he's going to come down the second diamond on the rail. I'll try and help you out if you've just joined us in pool and, you, and you're watching. We've got new spectators, by the way. I've met a family today. They haven't seen a pool tournament before. It's fantastic to see new people come into the pool world. And 
can always remember the future is with the youngsters in the pool world and Amir Ali who is the eye of the tiger has put in an incredible performance he's only missed two balls in the whole match the nine you would never believe but the one was a very risky shot but stay with us as we watch Amir go to 8-6 very shortly and well done to all the TV crew to bring you live action we've been here for at least another 10 hours today and to all the staff to bring you live action and I've thoroughly enjoyed doing the commentary all day I am back tomorrow for a very emotional day top 16 and the quarterfinals and with the semi-finals and the final on the last day join us as we watch Amir Ali trying to get in to the top 16 formality for it as six hold for the seven freeze for the eight oh look at that he's back in the car he's trying to put the brakes on the car but they're not working and he's frustrated knowing for the first time I see Ali looking in the air knowing that that cue ball didn't stop I'm afraid because the brakes didn't work I see that with players they tap the table I seen one player once in a tournament this is true he was banging the table not hit it was just in the local club championships he was playing me and I said why do you bang the table he said I wanted the white to stop I said take the match because I need to focus on winning the game and when you play somebody who's puts you off a little bit it's wrong but I know one thing always remember in any tournament you play enjoy the game because your day will come when you win for me when I win I tell the world when I lose I don't tell anyone I just keep it quiet unless they get the nine ball from the break when it's hill hill of course why not now this nine to the corner I haven't got any stories to tell today because we need to focus on this match eight six against the greatest player with the world's number one ranking Ali to break I think to tell you yes it is it's Ali to break the eye of the tiger Amir Ali has put in the biggest and the greatest performance of his life knowing that the world's number one is trailing by two frames. Ali's breaking. This is massive. Ali, I'm uh, sorry, Amir Ali comes to the table with this brake system will go for his favour if he gets two brakes in a row he could be on 10-6 where's the one? perfect has he made a legal break? perfect but wait a minute stay with us Okay. Look what you done well there. 
So he's playing a safety. He can't pot that. If we look at camera four, he can't pot it. It's too difficult. Thank you, Ali. He's showing us all where he wants the cue ball. So he's going to hide the cue ball in behind the five. However, and it's a big however. Wow. He might leave it in the open. And this young man, Victor, has put in an amazing performance in the whole tournament. Lovely person to speak to. But as the... This will be the great, great escape. But he's missed it. Unbelievable. Now, the five's going to go to the top corner. He won't take the plants on, I can assure you. So he's working out from the three to the four to the five. He's working it out. I think I know what he's going to do. Bear with me. Dear of him. He's put an incredible performance in. Now, he's where's he? Go? Oh, now this is a this is a strange run out. Now the reason why is because he's thinking of taking the four to the top corner. What about another shot? Come back. Well done. He's done it. He's going to take the four in the same pocket as the three. And have an angle. Do you see where he's put the cue ball? Here's something for you. That's where he wants it from the four. To go in to the six with the marker. Watch how he does it. It's too risky to move the five. But Amir knows... Yeah, look at this. No. That's the wrong shot, I'm afraid. Because you're taking a risk to get the angle. And the table is alive. You have to be inch, no, centimetre perfect. He's done it. He's done it. If you said to Amir Ali... There's the cue board hand. Put it anywhere you want. He would have said, that's where I want it. Because he's taken the five to the corner by the eight. So he played that perfect. But he hasn't come across. And always remember, the table, for some unknown reason, because the AC goes off, it goes on, it's reacting different. I wonder if they can do a heated table, like in snooker. And then you wouldn't have any problem with the AC. Or would it be too fast if you put a heater on the pool table? That's an interesting question for you guys. Would you have... I've played on a heated pool table before. Would you have a heated pool table? Or let the moisture from the AC play a major part in the, in the game? I know in some countries they play pool outside. I, my wife took me to Paris to watch my dream come true. The Jean Delis Tour de France. She said, we're going on holiday. I said, where are we going? She said, it's a surprise. And I was in Paris to watch the final stage on the Jean Delis Tour de France. It was the year when Mark Cambridge won it. And I saw these pool tables. She said, oh, they got pool over there. I said, no, 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 no. We're not playing pool. We're on a family holiday. And she said, well said, she said. They were playing pool out in the streets. And I watched while the wife was drinking the coffee. 
I said, I'm just going to the toilet. And I went to the toilet. But I didn't. I was watching them play pool. But they couldn't play at night time. But they were playing in the daytime. And why I went to watch, I wanted to see how the tables react outside. It was terrible. It really was. The moisture on the balls. They kept on cleaning the ball all the time. And the kicks they had. And that was in Paris. It's just amazing. When I was in Venice, they don't play pool. They play free cushion billiards. Oh, he's missed it. Amir has missed it. Dear of him. That was for a 9-6 lead. Ball number three. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, the emotion. We've just witnessed the emotion for the first time from Amir Ali. Dear of him. Is he trying too hard? Yes, he is. Is he playing his best? Absolutely. He's representing his country. He knows he's got to put in the performance of his life. Yes, he's shaking his head knowing that this frame has slipped away to a 8-7. I think Ali breaks again. Uh, sorry, Amir breaks again. Amir Ali breaks again. I'm not too sure. But this 8 to the 9 for this young man. Perfect. Victor Chanaski. Eight, seven. Trailing by one frame. Does Amir break again? I don't know. Stay with us, ladies and gentlemen. Our, our camera crew are back. Let's have a look in the arena. Let's have a look in the arena. Right. Let's have a quick look. Where's John Mora? He's still at the table. Every time I see Ali play, he's on a clearance. So things must be going well. Where's Michael? Michael's down, sitting down. John Mora's on the nine ball. We're going to have to do this more often, zoom in on the world stage and as everything we do is watching nine balls go in at the end table. I don't know who's in the top 16. Amir's going for a jump shot. Let's see if we can stay with this for a minute. The second table up. Amir goes in for the jump shot. Unlucky Amir. But he's got safe. Where's Ali? The yeah, Ali's on the left side. Perfect. Oh, well, we're back. Victor Siganeski is trailing by one frame, knowing that he's got to get this run out. No silver break this time. No golden break. But right now, oh, we're back. Sorry about that. We'll only go back when the ball's being racked up. Just let's have a quick glance into the arena. Now, the one ball. The world's number one. Where's the cue ball? Perfect. So where's the key ball? Let's have a look. Is it the six? Not too sure. They're all in the open. 
played that well enough. If they take the four to the left corner, hold for the five, freeze for the six. I think the key ball is the six ball. Yes, it's the six ball. I see it now. Because he's taking the six in the same pocket as the five. See how he such it worked it all out? Always remember, don't worry about the seven. If you got ball if you're new to pool, never worry about balls in the open. Just worry about the ball you got to get to. And that's how I play. Because the rest will fall into place. This is the last game on the TV table. We talked about the six ball being the key. This is the key ball. But he has to focus. He's taking it to the bottom corner. Beautiful. Nicely paused. Eight apiece. With this nine going into the corner. This is fantastic game. We have witnessed an incredible emotional battle between the world's number one and the eye of the tiger, Amir Ali. I don't know who, oh, Victor is the break. Let's quickly go to the arena while I reckon the ball's up. So we go there. Let's see what's happened. John Moore is finished. Did he win? He looks happy. He's got his jacket on. Right at the end, he, he must have won. Joshua Fellis finished his game. Amir sitting down. Michael Giorgio. Is that the table? I don't know any results. My phone's not on. I, I just want to give everybody 100% focus. Is that Oi? I don't know. It is. Is that Oi? Okay, we've got to go back. Right. Eight apiece. There is hope for Amir Ali. Slight hope as we watch the one ball. Ooh. That's close. Can he get through? No. Because to all the Amir Ali family and fans, I have news for you. If Amir wins this ring he will have two breaks in a row so what do I mean by that and the answer is he has got to win this reign to win the match because he's playing amazing but right now, this push shot, oh, look where he's pointing. I would do the same shot, I'm afraid. I'm going to jump over the two. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes I would, I would push the cue ball in behind the six to be player. But he's gone for the jump for the two. He's got to get it. He's got to get it. Perfect. Now, you're up against, this is how I see it. You're up against the world's number one pool player. You're eight each. You've been through an emotional battle to get there. You've been playing since one o'clock. Put your opponent back in the position. Let them make the jump shot but the eye of the tiger is taking this shot on 
Fair play to him. What happened? Dear of him. So the biggest mistake Amir Ali's made is that one. Don't worry about the missed balls because that's history. But the mistake has been made. Now, the run out. One to the two, hold for the three. It's all a formality. So what you got to look at now is the brake system. Does that favor Amir Ali? Yes, it does. Because he can bring this match back together and get to the hill and hope for a human error to win the match. Because he has to win the next two in a row. And we've seen how incredible player he is. He's a great breaker. But he has to win them to stay in the match. It's race to 11, and if it goes to 11, I'm not too sure how it goes. We've seen 10-10 with a roll up, but we haven't seen a 10-10, 11 11 sorry. We haven't seen 11-11. This is our first experience together. But wait a minute, what's happened here? He's not looking at the nine combination, I can assure you. He's looking at holding the cue ball with the nine. Where's the white? Where's the white? Now. If he rows it, if Victor rows this, he'll miss it. Because the table, mysterious things happen. This seven ball, he has to hit firm. Not hard, no sledgehammer. He has to hit it firm. Completely different to rolling. Oh, he's done it. Watch this. He's missed it. That's what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen. You can't roll it that speed. The eye of the tiger has to pop to win this game and a possible breaking system to help him. Well done to both players who's put an incredible performance in all day. They've been playing for hours on end. But right now, Victor is saying, how did I miss that? The world's number one. And the answer is, he's been playing all day, non-stop. Both players have, to be fair. But this shot, the seven ball, with two breaks in hand, is a match winner. Stay tuned. Where's the white? Where's the white? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. The eye of the tiger has survived the end off of the cue ball. Now, this nine ball is the most powerful shot on the table of Amir Ali's life because he has to pot it. There's no ifs. There's no buts. It's got this is missable. I feel he's going to miss it. He's got it! he got it! Unbelievable! And do you know why he tapped the table? I'm going to tell you a secret. He tapped the table to say thank you to the pool gods for that beautiful nine ball. He's saying thank you very much for giving me that nine ball. 
He can't believe. Look at the emotion. He is gone through an emotional battle. He's just saying one more frame. He's got two breaks in a row. And that's what the world does. The game takes you to the uh, different level. But he tapped the table to say thank you for the nine ball. I can assure you I've done it sometimes. I know what it does. Now, a mere to break. Forget the eight ball, that's gone. Where's the one? I haven't seen a golden break, ladies and gentlemen. Has anybody seen a golden break? It happened to me in my match. Six apiece. And he got the golden break and Pepsi was out of the tournament. However, I did fantastic. So don't worry. Where's the one? Where's the two? Is this the silver break we're looking for? No. It's not. Amir has got one opportunity. Pop the two. I wish they changed the colour of the balls because the five and the three for the camera's sake is completely throwing me. Because they do the pink, don't they? As well for the four ball on the other set. I wonder if we can change the colour of the balls. That'd be nice. It's catching me out time after time. Do you A, go to the hill, B, play safe, or C, hope? He's gone for it. And look at that, what he did there. He tapped the table again to say thank you. Wow. Incredible scenes. Right. Do not move. Do not blink. The three to the five is the key shot. The greatest pool player in the world. Victor is watching this young man. The eye of the tiger. Put in a performance of his life. And don't forget. He's got one more break. And... Victor, if the case of Amir Ali wins this frame, he has to win three in a row. And if he does, he has to roll up for the break. I won't be able to predict what's going to happen. Six to the corner. Three for the... Well, I'm confident to say this. Are you ready? Six to the corner. Hold for the seven. Freeze for the nine. For the hill. Stay tuned. The world's number one. Victor Zanecki from Poland is watching the eye of the tiger put in a performance of his life. Nine ball for the hill. And a round of applause. Now something special happens. Are you ready? Amir Ali to break again for the match. Let's quickly look at the outdoor camera. I just want to see something. Michael Giorgio is still in. Amir still in. Albin Ocean is up against Ali O'Bailey. I don't know who's winning because my phone's not on. Oh no! What's happened? Michael Giorgio. Has he won? He's won his match. Michael Giorgio has won his match. Unbelievable. Somebody's fist pumped him. Unbelievable. My training partner is through to the top 16. 
in the championships. I think. I don't know. Somebody's congratulated him. I really don't know. Let's go back to the TV table. This will be the greatest win of Amir Ali's pool world in his life. The eye of the tiger will put in a break and run, I believe. Stay tuned. But he has to make sure the cue ball parks away from the pockets. I do like his t-shirt. Now, this break and run for the match. Unbelievable scenes. Eight's gone. Where's the one? Where's the one? Where's the one? Ladies and gentlemen, wow, we nearly had a silver break. We almost had a silver break. Because that two ball just curled away. Now I would ask for the triangle to be moved. Because that will play a part. But I've seen something. Are you ready? Are you ready? Amir Ali family. Amir Ali man. Um, Amir. Fans. The nine ball to the corner pocket. Watch how he does it. He's going for it. Watch the nine ball. He's looked at, he hasn't seen it. He hasn't seen the nine ball. I need, I need another camera angle to see if he's seen it. Has he seen it? He's going to look. He's looking at the nine ball corner pocket for the match. This could be a silver break. He's going for it. Well, he's regrouped. No. No, he's not going for it. But he's looking at it. He's seen it. The eye of the tiger knows that this nine ball for the match. Can he get it? What an incredible performance. Watch the nine. Okay, he has to move the triangle. I've lost so many matches on that triangle. It's in an eye, and when you hit the ball, it jumps. Now, none of this is a formality whatsoever. What's Emirelli doing? Is he looking at the combination again? Or is he going to use the nine to hold it? He's a great performance. He's missed three balls. Victor's missed a few. Where's the nine? Where's the nine? Where's the nine? Now, this free ball is the hardest ball he will ever pop in this match. Shall I tell you why? Don't go for the middle. Oh, he's just said to me, he's going around the table. Take it to the corner. This is missable. Don't take it to the middle. But he's done it. He's got it. I've seen all the top players in the world miss this. But how is he going to come back for the five? Thank you, Amir, for showing us. Thank you very much. Right. Amir to win... The greatest match of his life. How many days, how many hours do you put in for one shot? 
he would put all his titles on this shot. He has to get it. He's miscued. He miscued. That's what I'm saying to you, ladies and gentlemen. The easy ones are hardest ones on the table. He underhit it because he miscued. He overstretched and he didn't connect right. But he's looking at this cut. And I have not seen any of these balls go in on this cute angle on the TV table. So is he looking at the nine? Possibly. Amir. Ali. It's missable. But the eye of the tiger has said, I'm going for it. That's what I'm saying. The white, the white ball. Unbelievable. As we watch now, the world's number one come to the table. Victor Sanuski from Poland. Oh, Amir has gone through the emotions knowing that he won the match and he's missed it. Is there an opportunity next time? I feel we're all going to go on that most emotional roller coaster together as we watch a deficit of one frame slip away from Amir. Let's go to the outdoor arena. Now, Amir is on that table. So what's it? Amir is struggling. Oh, Ali's on the clearance. So I wonder what's happening there. Well, let's go back to the TV table. We don't need to look in the arena anymore because we are treated to an incredible match. The crowd is built up. They know that their player, Amir Ali, is on the hill. The world's number one has to win a staggering three frames in a row. Sorry, two in a row because Amir doesn't get the break and it could be all over where's the one where's the one perfect where's the key ball there it is See, we have to change these colours to the balls. Because I don't know if that's the five or the three. Because the camera picks up on the board. We need another camera angle of the front camera. Because... Uh, so, it's the free ball. It's the key ball. Victor takes this on. But wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where's the cue ball? Can you see? Can we have camera four? Because we need to have a look. He can't pot it. And get position for the three. This is incredible, ladies and gentlemen. Victor Sandeski, the world's number one pool player from Poland, is making a human error there. But where is he putting the two ball? Perfect. But where's the cue ball? Where's the cue ball? Can he get through the gap? I don't think he can get through the gap. The nine's in the way. Yes, he can hit it. But can he pot it? Oh, he can pot it. Perfect. When you're the world's greatest player, when you're the world's ranked number one, there's a difference between the both of them. The world's number one is there for a reason. He's worked hard all his life to get there. 
and he wants to stay there. Now the difference between the greatest pool player in the world is a big difference. He's done it. He's been there. And there's always somebody on the pool table better than you. There's only one hope for Amir Ali. He has to win the roll-up. Or, I don't know. Does it go 10-10 and they do the roll-up? Do they lag right now after this game? I don't know. Stay with us. I think last time when it was Hill Hill, they lagged for the break. So let's have a look. They're getting the balls out of the pockets. If you Hill Hill, yeah, they're all checking. Where? Well, 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 what can I say? And I have news for you. I know who invented the rules. But I can't give that information out just yet. He spent 45 minutes to an hour with me explaining. But because I'm tired and emotionally drained, I, I didn't take everything in. Let's go to the arena, because we can... We don't need to see the table. Let's go to the arena. Amir is scratching his head. That means to say he lost that game. So Ali's still playing against Elba Notion. So Amir's still hanging in there. Now, we're going to have a commercial break. We'll go straight into a commercial break. Stay with us. I'll find out. Well, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, to the fans and the tenants and to the fans around the world, I have found out for you, you've got to win by two frames. One ball is perfect. Two ball. Now, I want to, before 
we look at this is it's the best of 21 it's 10 each so apparently if Victor gets to 11 Amir has the chance to break and then if it's 11-11 they go to the roll up now we've seen that already today but you have to bear with me because I'm not too sure I have been told and I didn't take it in to be fair my mind's all over the place just watching to see where the trouble ball is I found it it was hard to find it's the six ball because the angle going up so he has the choice of the plant but it's the five to the six four to the five is all the trouble now let's have a look at camera four to show you the tightness of that pocket okay thanks now I love the camera crew that we're all working together it's fantastic we're trying to give you the emotion camera side of it if I did that with the camera would be flicking everywhere every shot so I can't do both I had tried it once and it didn't work out at all now he's looking at the six to the left corner got that right Thank you, Victor, for showing me the, where you want to aim. The cue ball. Park the cue ball. Perfect. And it's all because of the table speeding up. Now this will take him to the hill. To 11. That will mean Amir Ali will have a break as well. So he has to win this break. And if it's 11 apiece... They roll up the cue ball. You have a choice. You can say, I've won the lag. You break. And you have a choice of doing that. So the eight to the nine. So Amir Ali still has a chance here. So I believe. I'm not too sure. Bear with me because... Yes, it is. Now, Amir is only allowed, I, I think, one break to go to Hill Hill. So Victor Sanaksky is on 11. Amir Ali is going... To, oh, sorry. sorry, I have to whisper because they can hear me. Cause, sorry, but... So, but, but, but I can hear me. Everybody can hear me. That's that's the problem. Now, the format of this is so complex. We are all learning together. Who invented this break system? Who invented these rules? I know the answer, but I can't give it out. Because he spent 45 minutes with me and I'm going to go back and regroup and ask him again lovely person anyway so I have to ask him when I'm pressed because I've done 70 hours non-stop to bring you live action as a commentator 70 hours non-stop is that a silver break is that no it's not no I have to whisper because people can hear me I'm not surprised because it's all quiet out in the arena. Two to the corner. Now, where's the four? That's the four, yeah. Victor Saneski is asking himself, I should have lost this match. But I'm still, excuse me, I'm still in there. Because Amir Ali, all he had to do 
was Rosa Kubel, another four, five inches, and he won the match. How would he recover? And the answer is quite simple. The eye of the tiger never gives up. So he's taking the middle pocket with the four. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now, how do you play this? Off the six? Do you pop this? He's looking at it. But this is so risky. Can we have camera four? Because this is so important. Okay, thank you. Why I wanted to look at that is because this shot off the six. He's done it. Where's the six? Where's the six? He's tapped the table to say stop, please. That's what he's done. Now, the seven is the key, key ball. Watch how he does it. He's going to use tremendous force on the on the five ball to draw it back around the eight for the six. Let's have a look. Oh, wow, he's going forward. This is fraught with danger. Watch this, a break shot. That is the best shot he's done. Now, the seven, the crowd's been built up as he feels that this moment in time is the greatest shot of his life. The six to the nine. Stay tuned. I'm going to have to stay quiet because this is getting too emotional. Beautiful. Beautiful. We are witnessing one of the eyes of the tiger. Thank you. Amir Ali showing me where you want the white. He's showing us all where he wants the white. He wants to be high enough to take the eight. Stay with us. Seven to the corner. I'm confident to say this. Seven to the corner. Hold for the eight. Freeze for the nine. For Hill Hill. The way he plays it. The way he plays it. <sighs> Unbelievable. Now, the tension is building. Amir Ali, you have played amazing for your country. Well done. All you've got to do is pop two balls. He's missed this before. He's missed an easier nine than this before. In fact, it's identical to when he missed it. Will he put it this time? He's done it. He's done it. What's happening? Do they lag for the break? I'm not too sure. No. You've got to win by two frames. So does that mean... Does that mean he... Amir Ali will break? I'm not too sure. Everybody's looking. Everybody's looking, asking themselves. This is new to all of us. We are in a dimension we have never been in. A mere alley to break. So if he gets to 12. So we've gone past 21. The 
that we keep going until somebody misses. Stay tuned. The one is beautiful. It's not a silver break because the three and the seven are tied up. So the key ball is the free ball. So he's looking already. He's not worried. What people don't understand in nine ball. Don't worry about the run out. Some people work backwards. Nine that way coming back down. For me, the key ball is the free ball. Well, I think it's the free ball. Is it the five? It's the five. I got caught out with that a few times. So the two and the four. But he's got the angle from the four to the five once he gets high enough. But he has to play that four ball in the middle. Tomorrow is the top 16 in the quarterfinals. But right now this one ball will determine the angle he needs to get to the four. From the four to the five, we are treated to see how he's going to... Oh, he's worked it out already. See what he's done there? He's just bringing the cue ball over. So how is Amir going to get into the five then? I don't know how he's going to do it. Because he needs the cue ball higher than where it is. But hasn't he put on a fantastic performance? Is he going to do a foul with his t-shirt? The answer is no. It is the free ball. It caught me out. I need glasses. Stay with me. It's the shininess on the balls. So he's got the perfect angle for coming across. There's the Polish people watching their player play. Saudi Arabia are here. Everybody is watching. I did understand that shot. I didn't understand it. Was he trying to come across and play a safety in behind the six with the five, uh, with the three? But is he seen something which we haven't seen? The combination of the seven ball. Stay with us. He's taking it on. The seven to the corner. Unbelievable if this goes in. This would be the best shot I've seen on the TV table under tremendous pressure. I've just witnessed, and you've just witnessed, the number one middle pocket will take the title as the greatest middle pocket I've ever seen on the TV table so far. Unbelievable. And Victor is looking on. The world's number one is asking himself a question. How did that go in? Does that mean if he wins this game, he wins the match? I'm not sure if that's the case. We are witnessing the greatest win of Amir Ali's life. 
against the greatest player ranked number one in the world. I have to stay biased, but I would like to say the eye of the tiger is at the table. I hope you're enjoying it as much as I am. Like I said, I'm staying biased. That's the way I do it. But I've thoroughly enjoyed this match. Seven to the corner. Hold for the nine. I don't know if this is for the match. No, it's not. Because I'm not too sure. Nine ball to the corner pocket to take a 12. 11 lead. Is it the end of the match? Is it the end of the match? No, it's not. Now, if it's 12 11, that must be Victor's break. <laughs> And there's Darius. And look at this. We are witnessing a great performance here. Everybody has put in an incredible performance today. And congratulations to Abdullah, head of the media team. Well, Buddha, professional photographer as we watch Victor Sanaski come to the table, will he run out? I believe, I believe if he misses, it's all over the way it's going because the eye of the tiger is back to his best. But he has to run out here. Where's the one? Where's the one? And that's the problem, ladies and gentlemen. The two ball is the key. To cut the one into the middle is too risky. But I believe we will witness an incredible match today. We've seen one already. Albert Ocean with Chang going the distance. And this is what the eye of the tiger is doing. He's done the distance. The world's number one has got to catch up. But where's the cue ball? It's overran. Now this will give Amir Ali the opportunity to take the one to the corner and pot it. He is looking for the pot. Believe me, these players are at a different level. Am I at that level? No way. I'm just going to stay enjoying the game. I never want to be this level. Do you know why? It's too difficult to maintain. Where's the one? Where's the cue ball? Where's the cue ball? Wow, he's left it. The hit and hope was the shot, I'm afraid. It wasn't easy. He had to do it. Could have gone anywhere, could have gone safe. But the reason why he did it, because of the cue ball, is the two. Is he taking the two to the corner? But where's the cue ball? Where's the cue ball? Perfect. When you're ranked number one in the world, you've been here, you've done it. You've got everything in front of you. Emotion, passion, glory. Four to the middle. Hold for the six. Freeze for the seven. 
But that eight is the key ball now. Yes, he's done it perfect. But still that eight ball will be the key to bring it back. The world's number one is under tremendous pressure. As we watch the six to the corner, he almost missed it. The seven now. He's got, has he got the angle? He wants to come close to the eight. Yes, he's got the angle. But wait a minute. Wait a minute. So he's taken the nine into the left corner. He's feeling it. He's feeling the pressure. This is missable. Ooh, he nearly missed it. But he's got it. This nine ball. To go to the roll up. Surely. Are we still going? When does the roll-up play take place? It's the roll-up! It's the roll-up! Whoever wins the roll-up! You can give the roll-up now, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. This is it. On behalf of Caterpillar Federation, we say thank you for joining us for the most emotional game. Oh, uh, well, I've commented a lot of some games, but I'm going to go for this one. I've ever done. I got to do a round of applause. I'm sorry. Now, do you put your opponent in? Who's want to lag? Who's won the lag? Vic Dixoneski, the world's number one. Do you put your opponent in? You can put your opponent in on the break. I'll tell you what, it's been an emotional game. You go break it and you lose the match. Do I break it? But there's one shot I haven't seen on the TV table all day. The in-off. Is this the dust? And look at the focus. Look at that focus. The world's number one is in a zone beyond or any dimension I have ever seen. Even I don't go that deep. But right now, he's in the zone. Now, we haven't seen it. He is a gladiator, struggling to get to the table. He can't walk to the table. He's falling. One of the greatest players in the world is falling down as we watch the world's number one struggle to the table. He has been through an emotional marathon battle. Surely, surely this is the shot to make. Watch the in-off. The in-off, I haven't seen one. Where's the white? Where's the white? Where's the white? He's okay. Where's the one? Is that the silver break? Ladies and gentlemen, the silver break has arrived in the nick of time. For one of the greatest players in the world, it's there. Welcome. You have witnessed the silver break. Unmissable. You cannot miss this run out. It's impossible to miss this run out. All day I've been looking for that guy, that the silver break, and we've witnessed it. There it is. On behalf of Caterpillar Sugar Federation, to all the worldwide fans. I was hunting for this silver break and it arrived in the nick of time for the world's number one player.
He has been amazing. I'm sad to say the eye of the tiger did his best and he put in a performance of his life. Unbelievable. On behalf of everybody here at the Federation, we say thank you for joining us on an emotional journey. Did you enjoy your roller coaster today? It's going to get better tomorrow. Stay tuned. Bye bye, everyone. Your winner, Victor Seneski. system in an incredible performance because for the first time we've gone to the 21 frames and then we kept on going and then when we had to do the roll up did you feel at any time you could come back when you knew that Amir was about to come back and take the frame well like you said he missed that one shot yeah, you know, I was hoping because, like, you know, I struggled with my brake system a bit, and I was hoping that uh, sometimes, like, with his brake, because, like, he was just trying, I don't know, to brake, and I was hoping that he will not get the position, but, uh, like, almost every time he got position and uh, made brake and run out, so it was quite tough. But I was, like, just hoping, just it, when it came to the, like, you know, 12th floor, just won the luck, Victor, because, like, you know, probably this was the most important <laughs> rock so far in my life. I saw something very special when I do the commentary, I'm an emotional person. You went into a zone, you closed your eyes, and you knew. Well, how did you feel coming to that stage when you went and you were going for the lag? You know, I was trying to, to pressure off uh, me because, like, you know, every time when it's here, here, the thing, the pressure. But, you know, I broke really well, uh, and the layout was quite easy, so... It was like, in my mind, just was like, you know, be focused, uh, be careful on every ball. There are no easy shots uh, on hill-hill, so 
I'm happy that I uh, made the last nine ball. Well, one thing about it, only one break in the whole day was a silver break. And Victor Sineski, you got it to become the top 16 yeah. player in the tournament. Yeah. Well done. Thank you so very much. Yeah. You're a top man. Thank you.